All right, let's see what that does to the CPU usage. I don't know. This game in particular, I guess there's a lot of motion going on. I guess they don't stream too many first person games. Okay, CPU usage looks much better now. Okay. No frame loss now. All right. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll do a full playthrough, but uh, uh, Twitch, are you not back yet? Twitch, please. Twitch, I thought Twitch auto did a restart. Oh, oh whatever. Um, but yeah, you, you go explore, you get your slimes. The pink slimes, despite being the mascot slime, are, are kind of one of the less useful ones. They're more useful now than they used to be. Excuse me, there you go. But uh, to get the real monies, you want some of the other slimes. So we'll be trying to get the in more interesting slimes as soon as possible. Oh, this is one of the new things of this uh, thing. So now there's like, in addition to the tutorial thing, there's uh, these little logs and there's story apparently. Anyway. Hello, Beatrix. The name is Hobson Twilgers, rancher explorer and the former owner of this here ranch you can now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You know, as much as, you know, this text can meet my acquaintance. Hey, Unplugged. I was a rancher for years, more years than I can remember, and felt that there was one last adventure in me, so I've set off to find just that. Before I go, I'm taking one last tour around things here, this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say in every now and then. We talk to you. H. So yeah, his notes are kind of spread around. Oh wow, it feels weird to not have my jetpack. And so on. So as you... As you play, you'll unlock jet things like a jetpack, the ability to run longer. Uh, you'll find a lot more slimes, of course. And you'll unlock new areas. That's right, Parker! Yes? Hello? Oh, chickens. There's, there's, so slimes can eat one of three different things. Oop, tabby slime. Uh, get rid of this carrot. Give. Um, is there just one? So slimes can eat either meat, uh, vegetables, or fruit. And um, meat is chickens, and it's the hardest thing to procure, and I never deal with carnivorous slimes. Uh, the neat thing with slimes is that you can combine any two kinds of slime, but not more than two. Um, so if you have something that eats only meat and that's a problem for you, what you can do is mix it with another thing that has a more uh, easy-to-handle diet. So these tabby slimes, for now, I'm probably going to go ahead and, as you can see, this is what happens when you combine a tabby slime with a pink slime. Uh, those are called Largos. So I'm probably going to combine these tabby slimes with my pink slimes for now. Because the tabbies would otherwise be a huge pain in the butt to feed. Right, like I was trying to say earlier, um, not sure I'll do a full playthrough exactly. I'll probably... I kind of want to explore and see the end of the game, so I guess I could stream that much, but... I do... Um... I do have a lot of other stuff to play. I was gonna stream Breath of the Wild, but... I had forgotten that this was coming out so suddenly. Oh, right, I'm gonna have to... This is gonna be a problem. I don't have enough money to keep these things well contained. Alright, so... When you make a farm, a, oh. I fed the chicken. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here? Oh, never mind. I did it. Um, if you get two kinds of slimes in a pen, you can kind of make a chain reaction, where you feed them and they make these plorts, which are these little gems that they poop out, and the the slimes try to eat the plorts. And so they'll, you know, it's like a chain reaction, and so they'll basically spread to all become the same Largo, it's called. And you can just shoot plorts directly at uh, untransformed slimes to transform them like that. Yeah, basically, you want to combine uh, compa fairly compatible slimes, and then you can just have a big happy family of plorts to collect. Excuse me. And then we take these plorts. And we sell them with the, the thing. I forget what it's called. The Blort Market, that's what it's called. Thanks, game. What are you doing? Parker's making noise. 
So later on we can get a taller fence, which these... Yeah. Tabby Slimes can jump, so yeah. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt to contain for a while. I don't remember how much that costs. Oh, it's actually not that much. I can buy that right now. You can also buy a sky net, which, um, not that sky net. Um, you can buy a little net at the top that helps keep them from jumping out. Excuse. Stay, stay, stay in the thing. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And is my mic balance okay? I, I had to change things again. So, the... There's two ways I could do things right now for streams. I could like just always go through my capture card. All right, I don't have these. So there's also these little expansions to the ranch. Wait, is this always open? Oh, the lab is like, oh, it is blocked. Okay. So this is just force fields of doom. It's been so long to, oh, dead. Watch where you're going, kids. Um. There's no real penalty other than you lose all that you were carrying, which can be pretty significant when you die, so to speak. Um, also, a very fortunate thing, slimes cannot uh, starve. They just get cranky when they're hungry, but they will never die. Um, well, they can die if they get attacked by Tars, which is something we'll see later. Uh, probably very soon, because it's night time, I think. Actually, wait, no, that's just, that sounded like the tar music for a second. So we don't really want to be stuck with pink slime, so here we go. We're going to start off just collecting a bunch of slimes and uh, make some death. See, these ones can hurt you. Um, make some more valuable kinds of uh, slime. Okay, these big ports. Give me the tabby. So tabby and rock is going to be a much more lucrative variety of slime than uh, than any of the pink ones. Pink plorts are by far the cheapest. Come here. Are sure they won't die? This is version 1.0. I assume not. They would be... Um... Crap. <laughs> Get rich or die sliming. Um, I guess I'll take that. I wasn't really expecting to see that. Um, see, so yeah, that was a gold slime. You need to hit it with a bunch of crap to make it drop gold plorts. Um, but uh, I didn't have anything to throw at it. I don't think you can throw slimes at it. So I didn't really have anything good. Also, in the wild, slimes will combine very rapidly, so shoveling up oh, God damn it. shoveling up all of the slimes uh, can uh, be a little bit of a challenge. Also, the inventory space is fairly limited. Oh, yep, this is a tar. Uh, they're very naughty. Uh, get, no! Wait, what? Hey! It was not on my thing. Rest in pieces, chicken. Um, I need food. So there's more slimes that way. Oh, oh god. I almost fell off again. I keep forgetting I I don't have a jetpack, so I'm all reckless. Which is very bad. Uh, I need food. I should... I guess I can sell these at least. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's a chick. Is it tabby cat slime? <laughs> yeah, there's cat slimes. There's two kinds of cat slimes, actually. So there's that tabby cat slime, and then there's um, hunter slimes, which are like half cat, half uh, uh, raccoon. They turn invisible, like just like real cats. And uh, pretty cool, but I can't get them now, I don't think. Those are found in later areas. Ah, here we go. Okay, foot. Oh. What I mostly need right now is some food so I can get started on some ranching. Like I'm some sort of slime rancher. There we go. Oh, not that much food. I want all of my upgrades back immediately. That's the problem with restarting. I have not been without these upgrades for... I don't even know. However long. Since 
it's uh Lag must be huge. It might just be you, or I don't know. I could do a little testeroni here. Yep, nine seconds. That's not really bad at all. Um. So, hmm. problem is without anywhere to put these guys, it's actually very dangerous to have slimes out with like different kinds of other slimes. So, because if three, if so, you can combine any two slime types of slime, right? But if there's a fourth, you get very bad, undesirable results, such as that thing that I murdered just a bit ago. Just like a corral, dump our rock slimes in here. Look how cute. And uh, feed some pogo fruit. Oh, crap! These are veg. These are these guys eat vegetables, not fruits. So for some reason, being a vegetarian, there's like two shades of vegetarian in this world. And um, sometimes just because you eat. Uh, just because you eat fruits doesn't mean you eat vegetables. They're they're weird. But I can. It's fine. I can deal with this. I'll just leave these guys in here. Uh, ex excuse you. Get in the pen. Okay. Largos are sometimes a bit easier or er, better at escaping. It kind of depends on the species. Right, there's mail now too. Or there was mail before, but I don't think it had any kind of story stuff. I love Beatrice's design, by the way. The, I think they just revealed her today. We knew that she was getting like a real character model, but uh, I'm just used to being just a floating gun. So we, well, let's check our star mail. Oh, hey, son. I did Muxy Bot post. Forgot to check that. Did I commit a crime against Twitter? I don't know what Bad P is talking about. Muxibot didn't... Why didn't Muxibot not do the thing? Muxibot is... suck. Whatever. Hold on. Okay. Welcome to the Rage Exchange. Blah blah blah. Thor West. Introduction. Alright, just get out of your network. Yeah. I don't know what that actually means. I think that's just the trading thing. Which is... Less significant than you might think. Muxy didn't post this time? What is its problem? I've been streaming for like over 10 minutes. Ugh, I just need to just post manually, I guess. Which sucks, because I have to post in like three places. Anyway. I be what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights up for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air really as clear as they say? But it's really beautiful. Probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can do it out there, it's you. If someone sends a cheer, do you get any of the money that was paid for the cheer? Yes, the, the point of cheers is to get Every cheer, every one bit is one penny to me. Um, Twitch does get an extra amount of money when you buy bits, but after that, it's all to the streamer. Uh, far, far rain, blah, blah, blah. Support extended. Yeah, 7Z is the company uh, that, that supplies all of our crap here. No relation to 7up. Yeah, we can buy some... Upgrades aren't really that expensive, so... So pretty soon I can buy, um... A 
whatchamacallit. I can get a, a farm plot, I guess, that, so I can grow some food on my own. Because finding food in the wild is really slow and dumb and bad. And half the time, when you find food, it has already been eaten. And that is infuriating. When you're trying to find like a new type of food and so you can bring it to your ranch and keep it forever, it's like never there. Like these things, the pogo fruit and carrots, which, um, so there's favorite foods in this game. And um, pogo fruit and carrots are like the default. And so nothing has these as their favorite. Oh, it's a Chico. Also, I don't, I don't think you actually get money from the gems, or like the money spilling out of the boxes. I think that is just a strange cosmetic, purely cosmetic effect. I don't know what I, why it exists. Alright, so now that those are fed, they should finally start uh, spreading a bit. They're turning into Largos. In fact, I can make sure they turn into Largos. Wait, how did you get out? Alright, I have to... Come here. Come here. Oh, and once they're Largos, you can't suck them up into your thing anymore. Excuse you. There we go. Now we have Rock Tabby Slimes. But yeah, once they're Largos, you can't uh, suck them up into the uh, vac pack anymore. Alright, I'm gonna grow... Oh, alright, it's called a garden. It's also easier to just only have gardens, because they're- gardens are just- growing plants is just a lot easier than dealing with livestock in this game. Hey, capitalist! So... So, where's those heartbeats? There's some heartbeats around here. I think they're over- are they over here? I can- if you get the favorite food of a uh, thing, it counts for, um, they'll make two plorts instead of one. Um, otherwise, every time you feed, uh, a thing, it, uh, it counts for one, it gives, it gives one plort. Ah, crap. Sorry, my disc is very creaky. It's a very old disc. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, no, Mr. Chicken, please! I had so much to live for. So let's suck up these pink plorts. Oh. Lots of pink ports. So I'm kind of at the point where these wild pink ports are mildly valuable. So I'm just gonna grab all of these. Oh, and these. Oh wow, I can only hold 25. Later we'll be able to upgrade that. I'd forgotten about that. It's been so long. Anybody else have this game, by the way? Um, I forget if you had it, Capitalist. I don't think... Unplugged was talking about buying it, so I assume you don't. I don't think Sun had it. Oh, I only get 20! Huh. That's even less than I thought. Alright. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, right. I can't. Let's get growing some stuff right away then. Because I can't really... I'm pretty useless at long range if I can only carry that little crap. I have a bit of thing getting for the tabby slime. The tabby slime's not even my favorite slime in this. Alright. Sonic Mania is out soon too, isn't it? We built a garden, yes. Or I already bought the garden. Okay. Um, we're gonna grow carrots. Pogo fruit has to go to these guys because the other ones won't need it. Carrots can go to you. Uh, slime. I don't really need that many slimes in there. Please stream Sonic Mania. Not really in my usual stuff, but I'll definitely be playing it either way, I guess. Excuse you. Excuse you. Back into back into captivity. No. How dare you? Oops. Okay. So there's actually some devices to make collecting the plorts much less of a pain in the butt. I, of course, do not have them because they cost money. It's actually very dangerous for them to be out like that. I'm gonna... Alright, it's the air net, not the sky net. 
for collector 500. Alright, pay that right now. Excuse. This is kind of too many. This is kind of too many for one thing, especially right now. Excuse you! Get in, get in your cage. Okay, you need high walls immediately. It's very dangerous if they intermix, because they can make those tars, which uh, will... If they're not handled very quickly, they can wipe out your whole ranch. All of the slimes, anyway. They can't damage buildings. Uh, they can't hurt you. But, uh, the worst case is pretty much they kill all of your slimes and you have to go get a bunch more of them. Hey, Kurzov. Alright, that's better. High walls? Don't need poor collector yet. But I do need another garden. Oh, should have put the gardens over there, but whatever. I'll deal with this for now. Alright, there's trading you can do. 30. What's this? What do I get? Oh, you get a bunch of food. Okay. Wait, what's my deadline? I don't know what the deadline is exactly. I never bother. Um. I carry. Excuse me. Wait, what was the thing other than? I think it was Tabby Plorts, right? All right, these friends. So these are phosphor slimes. Uh, they're very useful for raising the value of your plorts early on, but they require certain... Basically, you need a sunshade uh, to keep them from disappearing in the daylight, which I can't afford right now. So we're just gonna leave them be for now. Y'all got any of them tabby plorts? No? No? Lame. Also, you probably can't even tell because of, you know, streaming stuff, but uh, I am running at this at fairly low settings. I have to run it at default settings. And 720p. I just run it at that because that's what I stream at anyway. But, uh, probably won't tell because, you know, stream. This game uses a lot of CPU when streaming, so I have to be a little frugal. Where'd all the pink slimes go? Here we go. Give me your essence. Also, these little phosphor slimes are very guilty for making lots of tars in the wild. In fact, if we stay here for too long, we'll probably see one. No! No, get, give me your flesh. Okay. Because we have enough pink slimes. I just need something to feed. I need a single unit of food. Or like, two units of food. Ah, yes! Alright, let's go. Uh, this way. Can't wait for the Mega Maker update that adds more other games besides 8-Bit Mega Man. Oh, I didn't even know that was planned. Yeah, if that if they do that, that'll take a long time. What did the new update add? I haven't been keeping up with it at all. Oh, I have foster slimes for some reason. I don't need these guys. Get out. Early on, it's actually kind of bad to have uh, too many extra uh, duders on your ranch. Give me yes. Oh, hey, where's Red? Oh, thanks for the bits. Um, where's Red? I'll just let her know that I'm streaming Slime Rancher. There we go. Um, here we go. 
New features significantly reduce lag like on large level. Nice and automated updates. Oh! That's cool. So has Capcom said, like, officially that they're- well, I guess they wouldn't even- I guess it wouldn't be cool enough to say if they're okay with it officially, but, um... I guess they must not be being jerks about it, then, or... Oh, wrong thing. Um... Whoa. Well, hey! Excuse you. Also the moon. Ow. Excuse me! Get your anus in there. The moon is a big old slime. Of course it is. Uh, have some pogo fruit, my children. Grow big and strong. We sell these stupid pink ports. That's uh, a port for one. Click global players. Discord bot. Discord bot. There's a Discord bot for it. What exactly does the Discord bot do? These guys aren't all Largo yet. Actually, have them pretty quickly. I think they're all. I think they're all good now. Um, suck all these up. Hey! Get your body out of here. So, what other slimes can I get to combine with this phosphor slime? I think my first other slime will be a while. How much do these cost again? Oh, a lot. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get those. Um, there's a Discord bot in your own. In their server, I don't think you can get it for your own server, though. No. No. But what does it do, I mean? Alright, I guess it has both of those. New upgrade available! Dash boots! Oh, finally. I'm a big fan of walking fast in video games. I honestly have too many of these Largos. So, you go into the sea. I know. It's okay. The slime sea is that they, they... They, like, turn up... They turn into, like... It's a communal organism when they go into the sea. And they just, like, loop back out as fully grown slimes. They're fine. The chickens that go in the sea die, though. They're dead. This is why the air net is pretty important. Also, see how that guy was trying to go get into the other pen? That's why they're a problem. Also, if you have too many, they kind of stack on top of each other and it makes it much easier for them to escape. Uh, I don't need this foster slime. Into the sea. Sell that port. Oh yeah, this, the slime prices are right here, or the port prices. This is like a few different tiers to the uh, things. I only really have access to the far left here. Actually, I don't even have access to the honey or rad plorts. Consider trying something different like playing an online game against your viewers. Uh, not really. It's not really what I do. I think the last time I played an online competitive game, uh, I think it was the Splatoon test fire. Well, it was okay. I, don't, I just don't really do those things. I think the last time I played it before that was, I think, just to try Killzone Shadow Falls online multiplayer. That's like two games I've played in like, what, four years. So, yeah, that's not really my standard. Excuse you, do not jump into the sky. You, you, no one has authorized you. Samus, you're not authorized to jump into the sky. Space jump boots are deauthorized. I don't care if you're gonna fall in pits and die. I'm Mr. Federation Science Man. I'm gonna order you around like a massive dickhole. I'm sorry, that game. I didn't even finish that game and it makes me angry. It crashed. I, I, I. I decided to play it on Dolphin just, you know, for the better graphics and stuff, and it crashed, and I was almost relieved that it crashed. Slime Crisis 2. On the 
chicken. You have to die now. There you go, friend. Oh, right. We can buy stuff. Okay. What can I get? Water tank. It's not really that useful for right now. Jetpack is nice. Heart module power core. Almost certainly safe microfusion generator. Tank booster. Ah, yeah, I need the tank booster. That is. That is. Trivian. Um. Oh. I'm gonna. I need to get the thing that sucks up the quartz soon. In fact, I think I can buy it right now. It's a pain in the butt. Okay, as far as online stuff, I don't actually really like online games at all. Um, it's just extra stress and extra crap to have to worry about. And I like to do lots of multitasking and stuff. Excuse me. Um, just the inability to pause is not something that meshes well with me. collector there. So that'll vacuum up the port so I can more easily access it back here. Yeah, online competitive stuff. Is just... I used to play Team Fortress 2 and that was like kind of the one game where I felt like most people were not complete idiot asshole loser faces and then it went free to play and then most people were in fact idiot asshole loser faces and uh, yeah. It's just I stopped playing. I actually stopped playing around when there was drops. I think that was actually before free to play, but I was mostly done by that point anyway. RTS is you can pause it even online. I know you can do that for like, I think 4X games let you do crap like that, right? Like you have so long to make a turn, but I wouldn't think RTSs would let you do that, right? I haven't really played that kind of RTS for a long time either, though. Age of Empires was my stuff, but uh, Microsoft decided to kill that, of course. I think the Pierce Screw Group doesn't have a stellar response time. Uh. I think it's funny how Twitch decided to make a Discord like clone. After it seems very clear that Discord is just very thoroughly the winner in the space of, you know, Slack, but for games. Also, which, like, it feels like they ape each other a lot in terms of, uh, like, UI design and stuff. Which had, which had emoji reactions first, because I know Slack has that now, too. I don't really use Slack much anymore. But, uh, I used to be in a Slack group with some friends. I think they went back to Facebook Messenger. Oh. oh, no. No, I need things. I need things to shoot at it. Wait, no, I have to feed it meat. Shit. That's the tabby slime. Why are they so common? So, yeah, that's a, or that's a lucky cat slime, I think. Chickadoo. All right, this has a little bestiary slimepedia. And everything that you interact with or store in your thing, give you a little excitedpedia entry, which I really like. It gives you the sense of sort of completion as you're going. I like aspects of games like that. Um, I don't need that. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, but the uh, the cat thing. I, I need to feed it meat to get lots of money or something. And. Uh, I doubt it's still there though. And the problem with those is they're really rare and you never know when they're gonna pop up. And usually when they pop up, I don't have anything to use on it. So it just completely goes to waste every single time and it's not my favorite particular aspect of this game's design. Let's see if there's more food for oops. So these are called Gordos. Um, which is the name of a Kirby enemy, and is also Spanish for fat, so that's why. Um, but Gordos, um, if you feed them enough, they will explode into smaller slimes, 
and um, usually get a slime key, which opens up areas. That's the explore. We haven't seen too much exploration yet, because I can't really get too far right now. Um, I forget if I can go into this area. There is a place I think that's open. I might have to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Frick. The problem with chickens is they just die really fast. Oh, what do we got? Get a big crate tree like this. How depressing. He noticed his tree was dying, and so he immediately bought a ticket to space. From what I can tell, our robot master is linked to the Mega Maker circuit, just regurgitates users and levels when it's asked. As for Chang, it's ultimately up to staff to decide if they'll find a bed that won't be. Oh, so it just like shares random links to things? Huh. That's. I guess, I guess your product isn't real these days until you have a Discord bot. An incredibly over-specialized Discord bot for it. Those are treasure pods, but you can unlock like cosmetic stuff with those, but uh, we can't open those for quite some time, I think. Well, maybe not quite some time. It took a while for the update for that to come out, but I'm not sure when it comes. That's, what, that's the thing. I played this game through like the early access, which I usually don't do. And... Uh, so my sense of progression is kind of, you know, I expect things to be like they were in early access, which obviously they won't be. Which is why I wanted to start a new final break. Oh, no! Why does this refuse to break? Also, I always figured that is one shiny box. Look at the shininess of that box! That is inappropriately shiny. Who rubbed bacon grease all over this box? That's disgusting. Anyway, oh yeah, we slime key required. Okay. So, I need to grow some... We can access at least one slime key pretty easily here. But, um... We can feed... If we feed that Gordo enough chickens, it'll pop. But, uh, getting the chickens is... Another matter. Problem is, I think it needs, like... 30 of them? Maybe 25? We only fed it like 7? It's kind of the one part of the game where having a thingy. Oh. What's this? Um. Oh, right, you. Yeah, I don't have your favorite food. So we can pop that one too if we get a lot of Q berries. Which, Q berries are probably the best fruit I can currently find. Oh, those are bad ones. Um, I forget what they're called. Feral slimes, I think. They are very rude, and they try to eat your face, and it's unpleasant. So generally, no. At least I found some chickens. Chickadoodles. I think I'm gonna grow the chickadoodles on my ranch. I think nothing on your ranch despawns, even if it's outside of like a corral or whatever. You can just kind of free range things, sort of. You just notice the Twitch description. Breath of the Wild. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to change that. Whatever. Uh, you can update that. I kind of have my hands full. Chicken noodle. Come here. Um. It's a different variety of chicken doodle. Excuse me. Did you see that chick? Just freaking. That, that, that chick was the master of escape. Come here. Excuse you. Oh. It wasn't even the right kind of chick. It refuses. The future refused to change. Here you go. I, I, excuse. Why am I so bad at aim? So if you feed the Gordos the favorite food, that counts for two as well. So. Also, slimes won't eat chickadoos, so they're a good way to, like, even if all of the chickens are eaten immediately, you can bring the chickadoos back to your ranch. So you can grow them up and eat them later. 
Of course, this is Breath of the Wild. We've got, we've got crafting. We've got, you know, expansive landscapes. This is obviously Zelda. Just, you know, finally you can play Zelda as a girl. Let's grab that. The trees, I don't think the trees had this shiny shader on them before. It's very shiny. So I'm a little disappointed that the sun is not a slime. Though I mean, it is the sun. So maybe it's, it is a slime, but it's just so bright you can't see the facial features on it. Also, I'm surprised how little lens flare there is in this game. Which is good. I remember getting in arguments in way back in Teeny Tiny Bab School about how like someone thought that the N64 was stronger specifically than the PlayStation because of the lens flares. Obviously lens flares were, you know, this massive tactical thing. Point ten, the cute cursor from the trailer. Now replaces your cursor in the edited menus. Huh. Excuse look at him look longingly. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna get in there and be a tar. You know what you get for your troubles? You get death. You get death, my friend. He was okay with it too. He smiled the whole way to his own death. Inspiration. Yeah, he's dead now. It's fine. Hold on. Um. Oh yeah, sub emotes are live, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Um, I was gonna mention that for this. I was. This is gonna be a different stream. Um, but yeah, you can now use. Um, there's three emotes. You have to be only one of them is available for the normal tier. But you can spam Parker faces if you're a sub now. So that's always nice. Always sent. There we go. Oh, speaking of murdering slimes, I don't need these. Get out of here. Stony chicks, I guess. Can I'll just plop them over here. Look at them roll! Pfft, physics. Physics are my favorite. Alright. Uh, feed you these. There's the Parkers. But yeah, that- those took a long time that- the Parker emote specifically took like almost a week to get approved. The other ones were slightly faster. Which is funny because they're the tiers that don't really matter. Uh, the Parker t is the five dollar tier, like the regular sub tier. Ow. The flesh. Um, the other ones are kind of... The, they're the $10 and the $25 tier, which I don't know if anybody really does those. Excuse me. And into the ravine. Oh, I found out there's a freaking Charlie the Unicorn uh, dating simulator on Itch.io. I have to play that immediately. Um... And by immediately, I mean I've known about this for like months and haven't played it. But you know, immediately. I just have lots of crap to play. But I will check it out as soon as I can. But no sir. Alright, give me the ports. I'd forgotten how the hell that it is to play this game without certain amenities. So, it's nice to get those back, though. And it also is faster to get those amenities than I had previously recalled. I figured we would be, like, featureless for a while. Excuse? Oh, I can only hold up to 30. I thought... Oh, no! I thought I was buying a thing that let me hold 30 more. I guess there's more... Okay, never mind. There are more upgrades than I recall. Change the log is miles long. I thought there was like some. I I didn't realize that. I don't I don't care that much. You know what happened to the last three people like you? That happened. Frick, you know what? I'm just I'm thinning the herd. This herd is too thick. You only really need maybe oops, fifteen at most. That even might be too many. Why are there so many of you out? 
Yeah, but Largos have an attraction to plorts that are not their own, which makes them into Taurus, which are those bad things that tried to eat other stuff earlier. It's very bad. And they also seek out food, which they, they basically loose slimes are very dangerous. As long as there's food, anyway. They're not sentient. Look at this. What? 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 What, what aspect of this is sentient? Look at that. There's no sentience here. Anyway, they just go into the slime sea. I'll even read you the. I'll even read you the slimepedia. I I didn't make that up. That's a real thing. Um. <laughs> when a slime enters the slime sea, it quickly vanishes, but it is widely believed that this far from ends the slime's existence. For slimes that enter the sea can often be seen quickly reappearing back on land, happy as ever. In fact, many slime scientists believe that slimes use the sea as a means of transportation, swiftly moving below the surface and popping out on land wherever the sea fit. And there is now a bug in my water. Thank you. Hold on, I have to get a new drink. I'll be right back. I hate summer and bugs. Mostly bugs, but summer, sometimes. Alright, I'm back. So I pour myself a nice glass of water. 
And I, I even got a new glass just to be, you know, super paranoid. It's just a bug. But, uh, and so I pour myself a glass, I come over, and I look in the glass. I'm about to take a sip, and I notice there's a little something in there. Oh, it's another dead bug. Wh why? Like, would you bugs even? I guess bugs drink water, right? Like, what, what, how would they be attracted to, like, I know they're attracted to sweet crap, right? But, why am I water? Why? Whatever. Oh, right, I wanted to talk about, uh, Scaramushi. So, 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 <laughs> yesterday was freaking some of the best schadenfreude ever. So, this new asshole, uh, comes to be, he, okay. So, new White House comms director, right? Um... This guy is so bad that Sean Spicer, famed, you know, liar, completely moralless uh, Sean Spicer, decides to suddenly up and quit the moment that it's publicly confirmed that that's who's going to be hired. I'm like, who, who could possibly be so bad that Sean Spicer quits? Like, what? You don't have morals, honey. Well, what's the deal here? I, I, and so I just like, I don't even know what to think for the first couple days. Then, um, then he gives this interview to the New York Post, I think it is. I almost shot my plorts into the sea. <laughs> that would have been, I would have been upset. Um, so he says that Rince Previous is a fucking paranoid schizophrenic, his words. Um, he's saying this on the record. Like, I don't know if he doesn't know what on the record means. I don't think he does, actually. But he calls this freaking general, uh... Paranoid schizophrenic, like active White House staff, um, calls him a paranoid schizophrenic, and he says, um, meanwhile, meanwhile, saying that somebody else is a paranoid schizophrenic, he says that he's gonna find all the leaks and he's gonna fire his entire team if that's what he has to do to make the leaks stop. And spoiler alert, it was not gonna make the leaks stop, but um, it gets better. So he says in the same interview, he says, well, I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock here. Like, not- that's not a paraphrase. That's not me being silly. That's a direct quote. He's not- he's- he said freaking basically the president, Steve Bannon, sucks his own cock in an on-the-record conversation to reporters. I don't know how he thought this was gonna end well for him. And spoilers, it didn't. But- but so he does all of that. He does all of that. Um, then he gets served divorce papers, so what this guy did, um, my CPU was on fire, ADC, yeah, ADC is pretty rough, but I've seen worse, uh, anyway, anyway, he had to, um, he had to ditch his hedge fund, uh, basically his old job, I guess, to, uh, to take this position, and then he got served divorce papers after taking the job, and he also missed the birth of his own child. To get this appointment, so that's how he he loves Trump that much, and he just did this, you know. Also, he could be you know in the White House, and then like before he's even officially hired, he's going you know saying, "Oh, Steve Bannon, you know, he's had a couple of ribs removed, and you know he's very limber, so he you know does the old dirty on himself." A very <laughs> clever, reasonable human thing to discuss, as you know, official White House staff and an official on the record, you know press meeting. Well, not, it's not, it, was a, it wasn't a press meeting, but it was like a, he, he knew they were going to report on it. Uh, so then, after he gets divorced, um, he brags that, um, he brags that he ha reports directly to Trump, right? And then the guy that he bragged about not having to report to fires him in, within 10 days. Fired. He, he got divorced, he lost his job, <laughs> just so he could take this position, <laughs> he gets fired within 10 days by the guy he was bragging about not having to report to. <laughs> Amazing. He didn't like anybody. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know. Oh, he also got mad at reporters. He told a bunch of reporters that he was going to fire somebody, who which he did fire. He did fire Rince Previous, by the way. Um, he, he managed to get a couple of people actually fired. Um, before getting fired himself. Oh, by the way, the official reports, he says that he, you know, resigned. He, um, I don't think you can even, I don't think you actually can resign before you're even officially there. But no, he was fired by Trump. Um, 
It's just amazing. It, within 10 days, just a complete train wreck of a human being. Amazing. Negative 15 days. What are you talking about? What is this negative 15 days? I don't understand. But everyone on Twitter was having some very good schadenfreude that day. Just just yesterday, it feels like. <laughs> it feels like longer, but that was amazing. I, I don't know what his freaking problem was. He was... Like, there's a lot of idiots in charge right now, but... I, I can't believe anyone was that idiotic. Like, that was a new low. Which is very difficult right now. Oh, no. Oh no, please. Oh please. Don't be- don't be the- oh yeah, he calls himself the Mooch, by the way. He was just such an eminently hateable human being. I've never seen somebody that wanted other people to despise them quite as much as that. But he called himself the Mooch. Who- who talks to reporters and tells them things that they don't want them to report on? This is literally their job. It's it's the name of their job. Reporters. They report. Oh goddamn it! These tars. Please. Are you, are you, is this guy? Okay, hold on. Come here. I think he's got a nice position in the White House now. Oh, excuse you. Is what? There's a lot of good articles if you want to get all of the details. It's actually even worse than I made it sound. Um. <laughs> But it's just an amazing trash fire of a human being. And he now has basically nothing, which is such a relief. You know, justice is pretty rare in this world, so you gotta you gotta savor it when it happens. Bye oh. We didn't even get to see it die. It just despawned out of existence. Ugh. So in those crates, the reason I'm even breaking those is sometimes they drop moderately rare um, food items, which would be very nice. Mooch was slated to start August 15th, did serve 11 days, he served negative 15. Oh, right, right, right. So he hadn't even officially started yet. He had officially done nothing. Um, he did get a couple people fired somehow. But yeah, he, 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 he literally got fired before he started the job in any official capacity. That's how amazing of a human being he is. A real human being. A real human being. Hi, hey, Parker. Meow. Truly amazing. Yeah, there's um, there's a good uh, post in the Atlantic. I forget what exactly. Just just Google Scaramushi. You'll you'll find <laughs> you'll find plenty of shot for to enjoy. Trust me. It's amazing because like nobody liked that guy. Like, he was an asshole to everybody. He was an asshole. Like, I think the only person that he was not a jerk to was Trump himself. But, uh, everybody hated him immediately. He is just a hateable person. He's just awful. I guess he couldn't, couldn't do the fan dang. Yes, every, everyone had lots of fun with his name on Twitter when he was announced. I can't believe... Excuse, how did you get out? Please. I have money. I, I keep forgetting this. I have money now. I'm not sure what to do with it. Tank booster. Oh, I want a tank booster. I already got that. Um... Oh yeah, pulse wave is a... Basically a way to... It's like a mild self-defense thing. Yeah, <laughs> read the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody and you'll find why. The, somebody on Twitter said that the best thing about Sakurabushi being fired is that there's no more Bohemian Rhapsody references on Twitter. Oh, jetpack. Yeah. I'll go for the jetpack. Um, so I did a naughty and I probably want these pens over here. I probably want the, the, the food over here and I probably want I don't know what a 
buy with my money. Because I can buy one ranch expansion with this. I actually think I will get... Because I need to pop a Gordo. Which sounds like some sort of rap move. Um, but I actually need some chickens. Oh, I forgot this did not actually procure its own chickens. Huh. I think chickens will eventually appear. You know what? I'm gonna buy this. I need chickens, so I'm gonna buy this. This is kind of like a thing for free-range slimes, which can be very dangerous, but if you only use... Certain slimes, it can't be safe. Wait, what is this? This is new. What is this? The docks! Deep down in the great blue sea, I saw a thousand slimes smiling back at me. This is new! When did this? Oh, I want the docks. What is this? I don't think this is even active yet. I don't think I can. It's weird that people do not know Bohemian Rhapsody. I do agree with that. Or Queen in general. Um, Alright, I think we should be able to explode that Gordo. Which is definitely someone's fetish. Every Everything is somebody's fetish. I've, I've learned this. It doesn't really matter. You can string any combination of words together, and it's somebody's fetish. Somebody has an image of that on on uh, on DeviantArt. I don't I don't know why that is. I don't know why. I don't know why the angels don't speak to us anymore. But but it's true. Why is there, why is there a beach ball? I want a beach ball! Why is there a beach ball here? I'm taking this. Well, since when is there beach balls out? This is why I wanted to play the version 1.0. So this is completely new stuff that I did not know was in here. If you haven't heard of King, or Queen, King, <laughs> the alternate band, King, uh, if you haven't heard of Queen, just listen to basically everything. One of the most influential and well-regarded bands pretty much ever. You play with this. I think, I think this is one of those toy things that went, oh, there you go. I think that's a toy that like reduces their agitation, which agitation is why they're being pains in the butt trying to go play with the other slimes. I hate to break it to you, but Sonic actually was a word before Sonic the Hedgehog. When is Sonic Mania coming out? Oh, they have too much food. You can also get auto feeders. I don't tend to. There's not really much reason to use auto feeders because you can just overflow their thing with food and they'll just eventually eat it. But uh, if you want to do that. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I need to feed another Gordo, so I'm just gonna suck up all of this extra food. I don't know how much I'll need. I think 25. Plus I already fed it some, so 20 should be fine. 20 should be fine. I think I can pop those Gordos now. 15th? Alright, cool. Yeah, I got the collector's edition of that ordered. The PS4 one. I don't know if that's rare at this point, but... Wait. Oh, right, I don't have the... I forgot I have the jetpack now, which does not last very long by default. But, uh, why do I have a tabby slime? Here, eat. Eat and be merry. Pfft, and they explode. Oh. Heartbeat! Oh wait, no, that's not a heartbeat. That's a... That's a uh, slime key, which will unlock a new area. That's just a chicken. All right. 
I was looking for a thing called a heartbeat, which is the favorite food of those rock slimes, which could greatly increase my money production right now. But, uh, no. oh wait, hold on, chickens. I think I have enough chickens to pop the Gordo, but I'd rather be over sure. Because the meat, the carnivorous Gordos are particularly annoying, because I never have chickens. I don't like growing them, they're a pain. Can you stick chickens in a um, in a silo, by the way? Are chickens easier to deal with than I'm thinking? Or... Why am I... Oh. Where did that come from? There's just a gold plort on the floor. I don't know where that came from. I didn't even see the gold. Jerk face. Oh no! Oh no, please! Aw, oh, come on. Chickens? I need more chickens. Aw, oh, this sucks! This is why I hate these things. Are you sick or just allergies? Allergies? I usually get spring... Well, I get every season allergies, except for winter. Oh, yes! Oh, no. Hold on. You have limited energy, which is... Oh, no, 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 don't get eaten, don't get eaten, please. Okay. Alright. Yeah, my allergies can get pretty bad. I had a, we went to a cookout, 4th of July, and it was good food, but bad allergies. Please. He's bursting to the seams, come on! No! Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks bad. Ah, uh, whatever. We have a slime key. So this way, there's explosive slimes, there's honey slimes, I would- <gasps> Those are important, Q-berries, good. Uh... But we could also get rad slimes the other way. Dust mold, pollen, grass. Yeah, I, I'm allergic to probably all of the things, basically, myself. Um, Parker even agitates my allergies if he's near me too long, or if I pet him too much, or get, if I get lots of hair around. Usually if he's too buddy-buddy with me for too long, or if I get hair all over when brushing him, that's when I get agitated. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. They haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come out from your own rump. Bring some food to calm him down. Screw you, Grandpa. You're not even Grandpa. Yeah, this way leads to rad slimes. Which, my inventory is kind of full. But I have the key to use. So this is kind of the exploration aspect. You get the keys and you move around. So I was happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet, and mostly empty. Figured the life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. Well, wouldn't you just know it? Came all this way in the first person I see? Well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good enough anymore. Locked your laugh. He's talking about a slime! Is that... Is my vo I don't know how to stage whisper. Is that audible? I should, oh. Heartbeat! Aw, oh, heck yeah. Okay. We have to immediately head back, because I have too much crap in my inventory. Inventory space is limited, I guess, on purpose, but it does mean lots of quick trips back. You can eventually make teleporters. YouTube had an account purge. Check if you're still sub to everybody. Really? That was audible? Okay, cool. I'm just going to check if it's noticeable on my own account. Oh, no, my subs are still up from this morning. I'm so close. The reason I even know my exact sub count is... Uh, not my exact one, but uh, I, uh, I'm i getting very close to 13,000 subs on uh, YouTube, which is very cool stuff. And I should hit that within, like, two or three days, actually. 
because I've been getting very good numbers lately, which is pretty exciting. I heard it from RZ on his Discord. Yeah, YouTube just kind of does that in waves where they'll um, they'll drop some. Ah, oh, you butt, you butt pipe, you butt pipe. Get in here. There you go. Ah, you need a net. I can't really waste. Ah, uh, we're gonna remove props. Put a heartbeat. We're gonna remove these crops. Q berry. So Q berries are good for the phosphorus limes. If I get so, I could start growing some phosphorus limes, but I'd probably want I'd want a different kind of slime to grow them with. I always try to combine two new kinds of slime, so I'll probably get a rad. I could get a rad boom slime. But, uh, for now, we're just gonna explore the old quarry because we have. Pretty sure no one I sub to is gone. I have too many. I have too big of a list, honestly. So I can't really just check that easily. I think it's usually. I think. I don't know. YouTube just seems to have a bug where it just auto unfollows sometimes. Twitter does that too. I found people I could swear I was doing a mutual follow, and suddenly I'm not following them anymore. I like the crystal thingies. I'm a big fan of giant, like, crystal-y environment things. What a good shader. Oh, just a rock slime. Yeah, I don't need rock slimes. I need... Not you, either. I think they're deeper in. Ow. There's one! Boom slime! These guys are less of a pain, but they're still a pain. They used to be the by far the most annoying slimes ever. There's a there's one more. There's one kind that's more annoying now. Alright. This guy actually hides a teleporter back to the base if I recall correctly. Which is pretty useful. Unsubscribe bug tends to happen to people that subscribe to like 200 channels. Oh. It's probably just like an auto. It's probably like some sort of like anti-bot thing though. I'm sure you could legitimately subscribe to that many things. Oh, the problem with explosive slimes, boom slimes, they're carnivorous, so I always combine them with something that isn't. So, rad boom slimes are actually pretty a pretty good combo, which is probably what I'll get. There should be some rad slimes around here. Oh, there's also crystal slimes around here. I think crystal slimes are... Yeah, crystal slimes eat veggies. Uh, crystal slimes. I want to say they're in here. They were a bit of a pain to find my first time. Yep. There they is. There they is. Oh, yes. Come here, my lovelies. These are some of my favorite ones, too. I really love the, the shine. There's a lot of really good slimes in this game, though. They're good slimes, Brent. All right. There's lots of uh, explosive slimes in here, too. Okay. I know I can find some rad slimes. So, very productive day. Oh, and the thing about slimes is they don't breed or anything, so you, for the most part, you get what you catch. Um, later in the game, you will be able to... Uh, you can use a Gordo Snare, and what that does is it brings the Gordo to your ranch or wherever, and you can uh, feed the Gordo and it explodes into some smaller ones, which is weird because they told me on Twitter they were never going to add something like that. Well, you could just get more slimes without exploring, but... Oh, oh no! I was not watching my health at all. Oh, crap. Dang, booster mark two. I guess I'll buy a heart module. I'm not used to having this little of health. I don't know what Nintendo is doing with the stupid. Ugh, I don't want to get to an amiibo rant, but I hate the hard mode being amiibo locked for uh, Samus Returns. Oh god. 
there's a potential badness situation going on. Okay. Oh my god, how did you get in there? What on earth? What are you idiots doing? Okay. Okay, no. It's okay. These jackholes are getting air nets immediately. I'm tired of dealing with your crap. Right. I think I'm used to having them with uh There's a thing you can buy to make them less agitated, so I'm probably used to dealing with them less agitated than they currently are. Are you still growing? Yeah. Oh, they also fixed that annoying bug where, um, in previous versions of this, whenever you were growing something, um, if its growing time ran out before it harvested, they would just disappear and you would never get that batch of fruits. Or whatever. Uh, they fixed it so that it'll always complete the last, like, season, so to speak, of crops, which is very, very well done. Why did I buy this? Why did I buy this stinking garbage? Um, I don't know why I did that. That was a dumb. I did a dumb. I'm sorry. Ugh, I need more energy. I, I, I like running a lot. So I'm like always out of energy. I posted a comic about this on Twitter. Um, it's that, you know, the thing with the dog. It's like, no X, only Y. It's like Nintendo only wants demand for Amiibo. They don't want to provide the supply. They just want people to want them. So they give like 18 billion unique features to the rarest amiibo of all time. And then they just never make more of them. It's just so fucking stupid. Inhale. There we go. I don't think of it. Isn't the developers that decide amiibo functionality? I mean, they're Nintendo developers. I mean... By an amiibo spoofer. I'm very tempted to get an amiibo spoofer. I'm not sure which RFID things are good for that, though. But I mean, that's kind of like saying, isn't it the developers that decide whether to implement Waggle in Wii games? Like, it's very obvious that Nint Nintendo was like, hey, you're gonna implement something with Waggle in this game, or we're gonna break your kneecaps. Because there's a point at which the Wii Waggle really reduced. And it seems very conscious. The same with the, the Wii, ga Wii U gamepad usage. Like, right around Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, they realized, oh, this thing sucks and nobody wants it. Maybe we can just let you just make some proper games now. And then, well, and then Retro did. And then Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze was great. That was nice. You can now paste images from your clipboard to upload. Is that for Discord? What was I gonna do? Oh, right. Once more into the breach. Wait, hold on. Can I get some running upgrades? I feel too slow. Dash boots. Reduce energy at comp. Okay, yes. And a power core. And a tank booster, sure. Let's just spend all my money. I didn't need it. Oh, what's what's the trade for? Ogden oh, Orits. I'm working on a new recipe. Help me out. I don't need those plorts. Oh, tweeting. Oh, I think Twitter actually does that already to just copy and paste to upload. If your phone supports NFC, you might not need to buy an Amiibo spoofer. Wait, really? I was always wondering when they could make an app that just spoofs amiibo automatically but i don't I, don't, I thought that never happened maybe i just never heard about it yeah i have an nfc phone but are there apps that do that like i thought for some reason that never happened but i could be wrong 
And I hear the uh, Breath of the Wild, some really dumb amiibo stuff going on. And there's like this, uh, there was an article about how bad amiibo have gotten. And it was ta talking about Breath of the Wild and how there's like stuff that hackers can get because of spoofed amiibo codes that no one with amiibo can get. And it's like, that's this on disc DLC that like, the, it's even worse in my opinion than on disc like DLC DLC because with DLC, at least people can buy it. You're not necessarily going to be able to get an amiibo. Because they're, they're physical, they're limited. Um, even if they didn't sell out, like, potentially it could be a situation where even if they were abundant, if you wanted to play a game, you know, five, ten years later, you might just not be able to find the damn thing. And that, that sucks. I hate it. Figure out if Twitter or tweeting is better. I think tweeting is just an edit of um, Tweet Deck. And tweet Deck is very good. Um, I use this thing called Better Tweet Deck. It's just Tweet Deck with some extra features labeled on top, which is really what tweeting is. Tweeting makes a big deal about itself. I mean, it is a good thing, but um, it's not quite as fancy as it might lead you to believe. It's really. It's basically a web view um, with with uh, that runs like I think it's like a Chrome fork, and it uh, basically runs TweetDeck with some extra features labeled on top, which is what you really need anyway. But uh, it's not like this completely original uh, Twitter application. Do not steal. Why is there so few boom slimes this time? But the figure action replay codes for 3DS games. Yeah, that's something you don't see very often anymore. I guess they crack down a lot more on cheating because of trophies and crap. But you don't really see action replay or game sharks. I had a game shark for for SN for for PlayStation 1 and so I got a game shark for game for PlayStation 2 after that. And it didn't have almost any of the codes. Like, it only had the launch games codes. And so you had to put in the codes yourself. And so you'd have to copy, like, these 30 character strings from, like, a website. And it it, it sucked. It, it's, it just sucked, honestly. The, on, the only game I ever cheated in on PlayStation 2, I think, was... Um, I think after I beat Final Fantasy X, I tried to do some s silly stuff. But, uh, yeah. Rest in pieces, Game Shark. And nobody ever talks about Game Shark anymore either. That was like the cheating device back in my day. But everything's action replay now. Like, I never even heard of that until, well, a few years ago. But Game Genie and Game Shark are all I ever saw. I once came here to collect crystals for a little project of mine. I was trapped in here for nearly two days when the curious slimes came rolling in my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. I thought I was about to kick the bucket. Pfft, I did kick the bucket. The crystals were for a wind chime. Bet Thora still has it hanging from her torch. Worth it. Aww. True love. Excuse. Oh, and there's a tar. All of these slimes can be dead. The tar creation in the wild is a little bit excessive, in my opinion. Like, it, it always happens. Yeah, I know Action Replay is basically a game shark. It's just a different brand, the same cheating device. But it's just like, uh, that was all I had heard about was, was game sharks. And I had game sharks, but like, now there's all this. It feels like everybody but me had action replay. The Game Shark um, memory card thing for a PlayStation 1 was super cool too. Little slime. I'm not sure if I can take this with me. No, I can't. I'll just leave him here then. I used to come in here when I need a good soak. It's a great way to clear your head. Sometimes I catch a puddle slime blushing and I can never tell if it was if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. Yeah, Puddle Slime get all shy and blushy blushy desi desi if you uh, put too many of them in a pool. 
Rad slimes! Aw, oh, yes. Oh, wait, hold up. Ugh, oh, these things never grow when I need them to. Rad slimes are named because of their... They, they are radioactive. Uh, not just because they're sick, cool, and rad, and all those other 90s things. Only two? Really? Oh, yeah, these weird, like, coral tubules are where slimes plop out of. Oh! Hello. It's a good devil. Come here. Come here. We got three rad slimes. Technically one is enough to at least get started. Um, but, uh, I was hoping for more than that. Oh. Not the angry ones. Angry ones are very unpleasant to deal with. Oh, mad cats bought them? Weird. Whoa. That's a bit extreme, don't you think? There's a bit of a dissonance in the um, murkiness of this water based on whether you're above it or below it. It's a bit strong. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna ditch the odd onion. It's easier to find odd onions and they're harder to grow. Paradoxical as that may seem. There's one place to find odd onions, and they're pretty much always there. Uh, yeah, Oka Oka. It's never here when I need it, so I'm just gonna keep it. Isn't Mad Cats in some, like, really bad straits right now? What happened to Mad Cats? Did they go bankrupt, or what happened? There was a very bad thing that was happening with Mad Cats. I don't recall exactly what. So a problem I had with I went I went back for the Mighty Gunvolt Burst stream, and that was the game audio was way quiet. I can't believe nobody mentioned that. I'm gonna edit it for the YouTube channel. So that'll take, that'll probably be another day. Um, I'll probably release the cave story videos first. So I can't believe nobody mentioned that, because that's like, that was really quiet. And I didn't want, I was just about to publish it. But then I noticed, like, you can't hear the sound at all. Mad Cats shut down after, oh, they're completely shut down? I thought they just filed for bankruptcy, which isn't always death, but can quite possibly be. But yeah, they made that stupid bet on um, Rock Band. It's, it's such a shame that Rock Band and Guitar Hero decided to come back at the exact same time. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's not, I'm sure it wasn't intentional, like, you know, circular firing line, but uh, very unfortunate timing. I was never a fan of plastic instruments, but I knew people who liked them and I wanted them to be happy, but no, it was it was not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Insufficient coins. Oh sh Oh goodness. Um That's bad. That's bad, okay. Uh just place that right there. Right when you lose it. I need money real fast. Oh no. I don't have foods. I don't have foods. I'm not used to being this cash strapped. Crap. I don't have anywhere to store these slimes is my real issue here. Okay. I can get money if we this. Excuse me. I need some silos so I can keep stuff. Ah, uh, here you go, friends. Where should I put my silos? guys give me your all right now we're talking I tried making like just a corral that just had I was gonna store like a thousand ports in it and just keep storing stuff because stuff does not seem to despawn in this game but um when I tried that it turns out well 
pretty expected, but um, what ends up happening is you just get intense lag eventually. I was getting like five frames per second out here because I had I had several hundred. I'm not sure if I have a picture of that. I probably do, but it'd be hard to find. But I had. shouldn't put that many in there, but I don't really have much of a choice. Um, hmm. uh, I need food. Here we go. Oh, crap. You know what? Oh, you jackholes. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh no, rat slimes, please! Yeah, so certain fly slimes are incredibly dangerous, and I should be a bit better at handling them. Oh, Bob! It's time for Bob. Bob is an extremely good, extremely human being. Real. Hello, Bob. Hello. Hello, hello, chickens. Hello, chickens. Chicken. Hello, Bob. P.S. Chicken. Bob is extremely good and definitely not 50 chickens in a trench coat. He is real, he is human, and he is my friend. Oh, is this Bob? Oh, chicken. Chickens. Oh, excuse me, he's definitely not 50 carnivorous slimes in a trench coat. Chicken. Chickens. Chickens. Very good. Very good. Oh, excuse me. Bob is the best NPC. He's just a regular human. He enjoys regular human things like chicken. What a what a beautiful human being. So what we're gonna do, chat, is we're gonna feed these stupid jerk crystal slimes, and they're gonna become basically they're gonna calm down the uh, the jackhole explosive slimes. I hope. So all those th ones that I sucked up are not good. Somehow, when you when you die, the, the the things in your backpack disappear, even if you're on even if you're on the ranch. Don't make no sense. But whatever. Uh, is there still some quartz? Okay, good. This Bob is just the best. I'm not used to this whole like. You know, having to worry about things, aspect of power, I have to sell things. I have to make money and you have to not die? It's, it's weird and confusing to me as an endgame player, otherwise. Yeah, these jerk holes definitely need the high walls. And I'm actually gonna put the, uh, these guys need reduced agitation for sure, so I'm gonna give them the, uh, the beach ball. At least I'm pretty sure that's what the beach ball does. As you can see, explosive slimes are extremely fun and definitely not incredibly annoying to uh, have on your ranch. Chicken! Chicken. Chicken. Alright. Yeah, I could probably fulfill Bob's wish, but I have a Gordo to feed. Change back to square avatars and tweet. Oh, that's cool. I don't. Yeah, I'm not a fan of round avatars. They're dumb. Would not bang. You know what? Maybe I'll have. Maybe I can do Bob's request because there's a lot of chickens here. The far range. If you have carnivorous things, you really need the far range or the. Frontier or whatever this is called. It gives you a lot of free chickens, as you can see. Hey, Mr. Rosen. Oh, you got the you got the Xbox version. Cool. This was in early access on Xbox too, right? Stupid bugs! I kill you. Worst part of summer is the bugs. I'm glad I live somewhere 
where it freezes so all the bugs die. So that way, the bugs can never be too intense of an issue. Because there's an annual culling of the bugs. Oh, uh, no. No, I need chickens. 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 No! Chicken. Bob. Hello! Hello! Chickens! Hello. Does it just poop out one gold plort and just leave now? Is that how it works now? I thought you're supposed to hit it a few times. Oh, whatever. It also seems much more common. You gotta be kidding me. A single chicken! A single chicken. Just a warp to the huh? Oh oh oh! Eh. Where is that even? I mean, I guess it's a shortcut. It's sort of a shortcut. Sure. Let's let's call it a shortcut. <gasps> the docks. Oh, I want to go down there. Eh, I can't afford the docks though. That'll be. Oh wait, what's this? Built this area myself, spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground. Just see what would happen. I was hoping to attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to grow some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. It seemed to like hanging around those things. So he works as a story and as a uh, little bit of a tutorial and exposition all in one. If I had three more stony hens, I could feed Bob chickens. Hello, human. Hello, you stinky human. Don't we get chicken ugly? As you can see, the plorts are very dangerous and fly all over the goddamn place. I think a plort collector is pretty good. Sell these plorts. You can go into the ravine. Oh, no! Oh, he's dead. That's fine. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have all of my corrals on this one area. I'm gonna place the other stuff elsewhere. Pfft, they're hungry. They, they know there's food here. I'm not sure the AI used to do that. There used to be a bug early on where the rotten food would shrivel up to an insane degree. Like, I didn't even realize what it was at first. It doesn't even- it barely shrivels at all anymore. But it was really funny. We got from a new game up to the Honey Boom to Largos before another stream. Oh. Yeah, I did a new stream- to, or a new, uh, thing, too. Uh, oh wait, that took the tree with it, so... sure where to put my stuff is the problem. I barely ever use this area, so what I'm gonna do is put a silo here. Oh crap, silos are expensive, wow. Okay. Well, those crystal boom largos you have, how do you have them so early? Uh, you literally only need one. I mean, you have rad slimes. You can, oh wait, no, you have honey boom. You can get them at the exact same time you can get Honey Boom. Uh, all you need is one slime key. They, uh, you just go to the old quarry. Yeah. Crystal and Boom and Rad Slimes. That's why I, why I went there early, actually. Because there's actually more slime varieties you can get by going to the quarry than you can by going to the Moss Blanket. Or actually, maybe it's... I guess between Hunter Slimes... It's close, I guess. Oh wait, does that only have one? Oh no. Oh, these... Those... That... That was more expensive than I thought. 
I'm used to just having these. Crap. Wait, what's this? You can't have my slides. Oh, Thor is still around. You ever try to lasso a slime? Makes the whole backpack thing pretty obvious. <laughs> I guess lassoing slimes does not work particularly well. Some more heartbeats. I guess Q berries, if I lose access to them, that's like we can actually go. Oh man, I was gonna make. Didn't I used to have more of these? I used to try to have at least 10 or 15. Of any given slime, whatever you can have those. Beach area. Is a beach area? Is that new? Doesn't sound familiar. Give me the course. Oh wait. No. 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 How did you? No. No. Come here. Fuck off. You. How did this happen? You're all grounded. Oh, what did you do? What did you do? How did you even get out? No, you, what the fuck? The, the net is in, in place. I have no idea how those stupid idiot jerks. Oh, now you're out. Get your anus back in there. Excuse me. We're getting them some, some slime radios. Oh wow, I have lots of money. Okay. You didn't even have an air net. If you get them the music box, they're less agitated than the rest of the Music box. There's so few of you, what? Do they starve now? Why? I could swear I'm getting less slimes. Look at him go. He's in a quantum state of both eating and not eating that berry. Look at it. It's beautiful. They're all in a quantum state of attempting to eat, but this one's just more vibrating. Wait, no, this one's pretty vibrating. I think they don't know how to eat. They've lost the ability to eat. Oh, huh. Getting money is far more important than my slime to well be. Oh wait, 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 I can grow the thing? I almost forgot. Oh, please don't tell me something ate it. Oh god, why did I leave it up here for so long? Did they eat it? I brought my Oka Oka. Crap, it despawned? I thought nothing despawned as long as it was on your ranch. Crap, something must have ate it, I guess. I don't know. Crap. Oka Oka is a real pain in the butt to procure. Once you have it and you can grow it, it's not a problem. What would you say is the best Largo type? Uh, well, the thing is, you need variety because of how the plort market works. Because if you sell, see, say, uh, currently the quantum plorts are the most valuable, right? If I just grew a bunch of, say, rad quantum uh, largos, and I just sold a bunch of quantum plorts because they're most expensive, their price will go down, and then the mosaic thing will be the most expensive, right? Or the, uh, the tangle one. So you just need to make... What I tend to do is I get a corral of each of the like higher tier ones and I try to make it so that nothing is carnivorous. So like I would blend 
Like the mosaics are vegetarian, so I'd blend a mosaic and a tangle slime. I would mix an explode and a rad slime. And I would mix a honey and a hunter. And uh, so on. Um, it doesn't really make a huge bit of difference. The, the best things to have are Quantum Dervish Hunter, Mosaic, you know, all pretty much all of the late game stuff. In terms of what you can access early on, the Boom, Crystal, Rad, and Honey ones are definitely the best ones you have access to early on. Because it takes quite a while to get to the Glass Desert Slimes. But, um... And extremely early on, the Rock ones, um... Uh, Rock and Tabby are your earliest. Rock, Tabby, and Phosphor are your earliest ones for like decent. And you want to mix a Tabby with something else that can eat me, uh, not meat right away. Like I said, the, the, the carnivorous slimes are a real pain in the butt. Oh, hey, Rad. I should have told you that I was going to stream. Ahead of time, but I just kind of I didn't actually realize this was releasing today. Or at least I didn't remember. So I just kind of decided randomly that I was gonna do a stream of it. Because as soon as it launched for real, I wanted to do a full playthrough. Uh, I'm not sure I'll stream the full playthrough. I might stream most of it. But uh, I wanted to do another playthrough. Because when I first played this game, it was. Um, I just got it from Keymailer, actually. It was a review copy. And, um... It was early access, but it was like, Hey, that looks cute. And I started it up, and... I think I played for, like, four or five hours in, the same, in one day. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So what's the docks? The docks and expansion of the ranch that repurposes a cozy little lookout along the waterfront. This expansion offers a few extra ranch patches flanked on several sides with fishing nets. This can be used temporarily catch escaped slimes or as a mean of creating physical collages of slimes because it's fun. What? It also houses a natural wellspring, allowing you to fill your tank with unlimited fresh water. Okay, that's good, because that's been a pain. Uh, procuring water on the ranch is annoying. Oh, and so it's a natural place for puddle slimes. I kind of want the docks, but I can't afford it. Let me read the patch notes, by the way. I actually did not read the patch notes. Um, actually, I read most of them. I don't know if there's, the main question is, do they starve? Version 1.0, official launch. Added the final Hobson journal notes. New achievements, small new area to the end of the glass desert. So there is an ending now, or completing I had the final Hobson journal notes and Casey Starmail to adventure mode. Reading both is required for completing in single quotes adventure mode. Beatrix is now viewable on the title screen, which is great. Uh, and in her house, too. And the button to rewatch the credits. Must have completed in ad adventure mode. Oh, so there's, there's, an, there's a proper ending of sorts now. And the logo. Game splash screens beginning of game mode. And some planks on the pathway to the lab. I don't think it's anything. I don't think they're starving. I don't think they added that. I don't think that's. I don't think that was ever a road map. Because they never starved before. And it's like. I think that would just be cruel to make that a feature. Both gameplay wise and just because of, like, you know, dead slimes wise. Like, why would slime metabolism necessarily need that anyway? How much does this thing cost again? thousand. I'm gonna finish up my tanks and so on. Heart module. I'm gonna finish up those and I'm gonna read my mail. There she is. Star Mail the Rewards Club. Oh yes, this is the Rewards Club thing. It basically gives you some very expensive cosmetics uh, and it's a big money sink. Which, the game kind of needed it in a way. But we're not going to mess with that right now. 
Well, well, seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on a faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. It's Miles is in Tetsuya Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plur market like I do day in, day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my requesting plorts that I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe till you ever even reach second place. At the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out the great Mochi Miles on her conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Oh my god, it's strong. <laughs> yes, it is. My pet cactus. Hi, B. I bought a cactus from you. Sort of. When I came home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know, I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then something's really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. Hope you're okay. Hi, Beatrix. Name's Ogden Oritz. I'm a slime rancher, much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. Came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to grow back on Earth, by getting down to the soil and getting your hands dirty. Do you know the carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, I do. Don't know why all the ranchers aren't just gobbling them up down every chance they get. Being lost on the range at night can be so dangerous. Well, don't let me ramble on you here. We'll be in touch via the range exchange. I tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kinds of requests from me. So I guess this is just sort of gives some character to the trading quest people. I don't really do the trading quests. <laughs> Mochi Trump. Looking forward to doing business with you. Ever hear of Gilded Ginger? It's a mythical veggie that's said to be the favorite fruit of the equally mythical gold slime. Some say that neither of them actually exist. That's weird. Gold slimes exist, but I don't know if that other thing. Salutations, Miss Libiu. Allow me to introduce myself. I am. Oh my god, I can't do this voice for this much. I once lost my favorite fiddle while fleeing a fair boom slime. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find it, I'd be love very much love to be able to play it again. This is too much. I can't. I can't do this for the whole thing. Yes. Victor Humphreys. Slime has just tremendous interest in the liquiform legion that we share a vast range with slime. Okay, so he wants slimes. Rise and shine. Alright. Just take a nap. Take a slip. Okay. Honestly, the main reason to sleep is so that your plants grow. So I need, now I need to go get Oka Oka and some more rad slimes. Because I slightly died last time. Phosphor Rock and Phosphor Tabby. Yeah, that's a good starting set. Uh, if you have another slime key, I would head to the Indigo Quarry. Um, it's the first slime gate to your right when you go out this way. In fact, I'm heading there right now if you want to watch Mr. Rosen. Because um, I... I need red slimes. And I'll probably get Puddle Slimes while I'm out there. I like to have everything at my ranch. Well, because of the slime science update. All right, well, heck. It's weird to not think of this game in terms of updates. Like, I... It's just a completed game now. But yeah, because of the slime science stuff, you need plorts from all the different species, so... It's actually practical to have at least a few of every slime on your ranch now. Plus, it'll give me an excuse to get those docks. I don't actually want more boom slimes. Me slimes, yes, Rad. Oh right, I could have, I could have been a contender. I could have brought some uh, stuff for this jerk hole. Yeah, he won't, he won't eat that. What 
wonder when I can get some treasure crackers. I think you might have to unlock the uh, lab for those. The rat slime seems oddly rare. I guess I should make honey rats since I have boom crystals. the food. For some reason this area ne seems to never have food when I need it to, which is always. No way, there can't be only one puddle. Oh, there's only one puddle slime today. There's usually at least two or sometimes three. really feels like a waste. <gasps> Puddle ports no longer explode when they leave water. That was the most annoying feature ever. Like honey from a honey rat slime wouldn't sell too well. It's fine. It's 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 healthy. And you know, it's a nice it'll give you a nice healthy glow. Oh that reminds me, I was actually made aware of some amazing high quality products from the nineteen like tens. I'll just let you read what this is. Hopefully this will show up large enough on screen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's large enough. Um, 15 day course Vita Radium Suppositories. Guaranteed to contain real refined radium and to be perfectly harmless. Well, at least one of those statements is true. The Home Products Co. Sweet blah 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 Denver, Colorado. For directions, see other side. Radium suppositories. Vita Radium. There's some other amazing stuff. Um, I think modern cigarettes actually already have a certain degree of radioactive material in them. But oh, that's a web P. I can't use web P's on. Yeah. The one thing cigarettes were missing. Radium. Let me see here. Oh, that would be too ironic. I, I wanted to see if there's like radium sunscreen. No. Um, radium products. Ah! This is a good tap. You ever see... Oh my god, why is that so big? Why is his head so big? Why is his head so big? Oh my god. What is this like an 18k image? No, go, you, you, I don't even need you anymore. Radium water. <laughs> Radium health products. Oh no, it's 8 o'clock, isn't it? Yep. Every time, exactly 8 o'clock. Exactly eight o'clock. The thing happens. God damn it! I, th there's no way this is a coincidence. And Mediacom just tells me. Hold on, I think I have that. <laughs> well, I'm not too happy about you being such a prick. Oh, oh, delicious. Hold on. Oh, no, I need a freaking not web P. I need an image format that this thing can ingest. Okay. Radium chocolate, yes. Does anybody want some uh, some some nice chocolates? Wash it down with some uh, with some some water here. Delicious. <laughs> anyway, let's get all this crap off the screen. All right, back to video games. They used to think radiation was great. That's the. I think it's kind of hilarious because the, the modern, um, like, uh, it's very much similar to the modern New Age crap, where they just find anything like just a ran They just attribute healthiness to random garbage. So radiation was this new thing. So everything was like, well, 
It's new, so it's gotta be super healthy and amazing, and it's, it's natural. Radium is natural, you know? Oh god. Radium is natural, so obviously it's healthy, you know? Like nightshade! Nightshade is natural. Why don't you just make a nice nightshade salad? Don't, don't make a nightshade salad. <laughs> Alright, he has a rate. I don't think this guy had a radiation barrier before. He sure does now. I don't have the food for him. Oh. Just a nice little lookout, I guess. Don't actually make anything. You know what you do? You make a nice nightshade salad, and you eat it with some nice radium forks. I think if you do two incredibly dangerous things at once, they like cancel each other out. The radiation will kill the nightshade, so it'll be fine. That's how that works. It's like that thing with Mr. Burns, where he's so unhealthy, he's healthy. I don't like the red pink slimes. They Something's weird about them. Just like the normal rad slimes. Alright, oh. F. I love how F to pay respects. Just There's so many people that were like, at the time, they're like, it's just, it's not unusual or anything. It just became a completely unstoppable meme. So that was a teleporter back to the ranch, which I think... I might actually take. I want some Oka Oka. But I don't see any Oka Oka. What the? Where does this go? Oh, hello, friends. Yeah, Oka Oka is one of the most painful veggies to find in this game. What the hell is this? Just a random chicken corridor. It's the true egg corridor. Please have Oka Oka. You did not. Useless. dead end. I figured almost all the dead ends would be removed by uh, once the full release was out. Oh. I think that leads to the... Actually, I don't think that used to be... I don't know if that used to be a thing. I think that might be new. I haven't played this since, well, since whenever I last streamed it, actually. So there might be a few things added here and there that, well, I can get an odd onion at least. Discourse right now. No discourse. Um, unless it's Sakura or er, Scaramushi being completely owned from 500 different angles. I have no, I have no interest in 
discourse right now. I like this place for the ponds, it just feels natural. But there's our happy little puddle slime. We'll get you some buddies soon, don't worry. Um, we never thoroughly explored this way. Does anybody like GameStop? Like, I think game in Europe is actually somehow worse, but GameStop is pretty freaking bad. Oh no, chickens. I need chickens. Oh, so many carnivorous gordos. Oh wait, what am I doing? I have a whole thing full of crap that I can feed to this thing. Yeah, game is like the equivalent of GameStop and everybody hates it. I think game might actually be worse, but I don't know, I think they're... They seem on par and they seem very similar in the type of stuff they do. I, we always... I always used to go to Electronics Boutique because they weren't GameStop. And then GameStop bought Electronics Boutique and so for a while EB Games was like this skeleton company that had, you know, they still had to use the brand, but it was really GameStop. And then they eventually just went to 100% GameStop. Yeah. Not exactly a Shakespearean tragedy, but it still sucked. Oh yeah, GameStop does that too. They'll only sell certain things in a bundle. Once, once anything is popular, they'll still start bundling it with a bunch of dumb crap. They're also the company that, um, they printed up, so Nintendo did an exclusivity deal with GameStop for, uh, Xenoblade in the US, and, um, so only GameStop could sell, uh, Xenoblade, and then it sold way better than expected, so it was hard to find, right? So used copies are going for 80 bucks, or 90 bucks, I think, actually, and, um, so what GameStop did, they actually printed up a new batch. And I'm not 100% sure this is true, but I've heard from multiple sources, but uh, what they did was they printed up new copies and then they opened the new copies so they could sell them as used because they sold more used than they do. Oh no! Oh shit. Um, they sell more used than they were new. Oh fucking... Why are you so bad at eating? Game still sold games I call it for full price in a year after release. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about like GameStop. I only usually do Amazon and Best Buy. Mostly Best Buy now because game Amazon just kind of... They used to beat Best Buy, but now they're kind of a little bit lower. I used to come to the beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them. For what purpose? Most of all, I'd sit here and think of her. That is a very small reflection for such a huge moon. I'm not sure that's exactly accurate. I think... I wonder if they forgot to update that once the moon... The moon did not used to be huge. The moon used to be like normal Earth moon sized, if I recall correctly. And that kind of spooked it way up so you could see all the detail on it so you could see it's a big old slime this by the way is one of the worst possible places to use the slime key um, eventually you'll get enough slime keys to open everything but I strongly advise against doing that one that's it's just a shortcut is all it is most of the slime key doors you'll find uh, open up new areas a few of them are kind of cyclical, so, you know, it's either a new area or a shortcut depending on which other doors you've opened. But that one is always just a plain old shortcut, and it's not really even a valuable shortcut, so don't open it. Well, that wasn't very fruitful. I did find a new Gordo, though. <coughs> 
Excuse me. I'm sorry, I have very loud sneezes. It's just allergies, I'm not sick or anything. I'm just allergic to the universe. I forgot I have some jerks to feed. Oh, right, I could have used those cube berries. Uh, could have used cube berries to, uh, to, ha to open that phosphor slime. I remember that day. I feel like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding. We took shelter in that cafe. It's like a scene from a movie, only we both look like wet animals. The guy running the shop was a real tyrant. Only way we could stay inside was we already one coffee after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home when the rain came back, it close to me, my heart was racing. I couldn't blame that on the coffee. Casey. Aww. Who even is Casey? It's apparently... Apparently have... A potential significant other or something. I never really bothered reading the Casey mails and the... rather. Excuse me. Is there a thing to compare two walls of text for difference? Yeah, Google uh, Win Merch. That's what I use. That, uh, it's, it's designed for code, but it'll find any kind of difference in any text file. I mean, you could put binary files on it too if you want, but that's be very readable. Uh, oh, that's cool. This is enough. Carrots, please? How do I have boom slimes get out of here? Ah, carrots. I think if I could get 25 carrots. Feed that rat slime. Largo. Ah! Just one? Really? Flip off. Ooh! Aw, oh, yes! 25. Okay. I think we're good. The decision making for the, the 25 day challenge must be pretty intense now. I wonder if there'll be speedruns. They probably will be. This game's very popular, by the way. I, this game sold over a million copies in early access before it even launched. And, uh... I don't know how many they sold exactly. It was very impressive. It's a great game. I'm not opposed to it that much. I'm just surprised. Chickens. Oh, there's a thing. Lucky slime. I think that thing just gives you money directly if you feed it. This looks like I had to use my. I hear it. Did it just go up here or no? Well, I still want to feed that Largo. This is the beach area. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. More of a cliff than a beach, but I see what you mean. Oops. Should have waited until I get back back. Oh no. 
<laughs> They're just floating into the... Self-preservation skills, zero. Amazing. Up. Into the ravine. I think I can explode that Gordo. That rad Gordo. Ah. Warm, glowing radiation. Radiation only hurts after it hits to 100, and then it does like 10 damage per second. On Xbox, there's a beach ball that spawns. Yeah, I got the beach ball. I guess that does make it more beach like, doesn't it? But yeah, I grabbed the beach ball. That's, that's back at my ranch now. I don't. If it respawns, it hasn't yet. Right, this is the way to the Indigo Quarry, by the way. It's this first cave. I would make this your next stop once you get a slime key. There's access to... I guess since you already have Boom Slimes, there's access to three more slime types. Uh, plus at least one. Uh, possibly two. Uh, types of plant. Because there's Oka Oka. And, uh, odd onions. Oh, wait. Nah, you're just a teleporter, so I'm not gonna feed you. Actually, I think that's a two-way teleporter. But I don't have... I don't have the other end, anyway. Yeah, win merch. Just Google, and you'll find it pretty easy. I use it all the time at work for merging things. Good news is I can get some puddle slimes. Here we here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Two. So you can store up to four in a uh, thing. So three is ideal. All the duders I could take, but oh well. Oka 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 oka. Yes. The odd onion just randomly grows in between stuff here. But oka oka. That's what rad. That's rad slime's favorite food. So now I can grow. Rad slimes are probably about the best stuff I have, along with the crystal slimes. Where can I find another slime key? I've done the pink gordo, the phosphor gordo, two ten. Uh, just keep popping gordos. I forget exactly which ones. Um, I want to say there's a slime key in the mossy, the moss blanket. Far to the left. Wait, what? Well, crap. I guess they take 50, not, not 25. Maybe it's 25. I think I'm remembering 25, uh, their favorite foods. So now I need more veggies. Ooh! Not sure that'll be enough. Any more? Ah! Now we're talking. Uh, crap, let's go feed it real quick. Please. Booby, please. Oh no. They ate it all. Gordo's fedness does not reset, so I can just go to the ranch and get more stuff, but traveling is presently a bit of a pain. I should have grabbed like a full inventory of uh, heartbeats. There's chickens. 
Wait, I need chickens. Yes, chickens, please. Yes. Alright. That'll hopefully be enough. Let's see if it added some... A few more minor cosmetic items around. Some, some life and things up. Um... I think I can pop the Gordo back at the ranch now, at least. The one at the, uh, beach-ish. The reason I don't call it a beach is, I mean, they're like sheer cliffs. Like, I think of beach, I think, you know, sand leading directly into the water. Oh yeah, there's a Gordo on an island. You probably got it already. There's a Gordo on the island right there that has a slime key. It's usually the first one people find. Did you have any Gordos? I want to say there's a honey Gordo that has one in the moss blanket. If you just keep going left from where you enter it. Or actually, they reorganized the moss blanket so much. I'm not 100% sure anymore. But uh, it's somewhere in the moss blanket for sure. Fortunately, I think for a while. This is probably the last carnivorous Gordo. Oh my god. Chickens, please. Your sacrifice is a noble one. There's actually a lot of slime keys. Should be illegal. Okay. Chickens. I hear you. I hear your lies. I hear your filthy chicken lies. Come here. Stupid carrots haven't grown yet. This is why it's good to be able to grow stuff on your own. Where's the chicken? Oh, whatever. Let's just pray that this is the last food thing we need. Let's have you open a teleporter that takes you to a cliffy place. Oh, right, that's, isn't that like an island or something? Stand. I can't stand with it anymore. What? Why? Why does it eat so much? It has claimed like an entire city of chickens. Get out of here. It's such a shame. The, the, the tar are like rainbow friends, but they're evil. Why must they be evil? chickens. This really should be enough. I've said that before. There's another pink Gordo through there. I think you're thinking of the Phosphor one. The Phosphor Gordo is through that slime door. That was exactly one off. Okay, this is a pretty neat little island place. I don't think I really need to explore here right now, though. There's mostly treasure and slimes I already have here. So I'm gonna wait to explore that for when I have the treasure crackers. I just want to get my crap back to base. Grow some Oka Oka. <gasps> Fuck. 
Rest in peace, Oka Oka. Hi, Casey. I just fell in for you. Why must? Why does the universe conspire to not let me have Oka Oka? I'll save ten heartbeats, and I should have plenty for. Last time, there's another pink. Oh, yeah, I already read that. I just really want to pop this Gordo. In fact, I might stop streaming after I get this Gordo, and is there anything else I need? Let me see if I can up this bitrate. I might not be able to. This bitrate is pretty extremely low. How bad does it look? Considering all the issues I've had, I honestly... I kind of might just leave it at a lower bitrate if it's not too offensive. Because I upload the raw files. I, up I upload my local copies now. Uh, so whatever we get on YouTube is always going to be high quality. Okay, it seems okay at this... It's so suspicious that it's always at 8 o'clock, though. It's, it doesn't matter how long I stream, it's... I said, I said, oh, it must be 8 o'clock, and it was literally 7... Um, oh. Oh, no. It was literally 7.59. But yeah, it's always going to fluctuate a bit because of, uh... It'll fluctuate depending on how much motion's going on. I did a stupid... I don't think this one will even work. I don't think that'll even work because I don't have the thing unlocked. Though I could probably afford it if I wanted soul some boards. Food! No! Piss off! Get in here. No Oka Oka for me. <gasps> Carrots. Also that rock order there, that's a teleporter, that's definitely not the slime gate. I forgot about the puddle slimes. I want these friends too. Oh no, there's only one today! I think there's another place where you can get some more, but that's probably the easiest place to get them. Wait, no, there's also the, the moss blanket, it's just as easy, really. Let's see, that's what I mean, the Oka Oka has never grown. I think that was a rotten thing anyway. I need to watch my... I'm, I'm not used to how much energy I have. Which is dangerous. Oh, fuck. We're dropping frames again. Okay, I can't go this high. This is... Ugh. This should not be an issue. This should not be... I should not have an issue streaming at... This is currently 125th of my maximum upload. Uh, the, the amount that I try to stream at is one-tenth, or a little bit over one-tenth, but it's still very minimum. Wait, where'd my Oka Oka go? Oh, I saw Oka Oka. There's your slime key. So yeah, that rat slime has a slime key. Crap. I think they ate the Oka Oka. Yeah, because that... They made a plort. 
Isn't there a flashlight in this game? There we go. I'd never need the flashlight, but it's there. Oh yeah, because they made multiple rad parts. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can pop that uh rock portal. through the tabby gordo can have them oh yeah that has like a lot of the that has a lot of stuff that i could already have from around here. I wanted to grow sometimes you just have to kind of camp around where they can go and grow if you want to get more of it once you start some once you have some stock on hand it's not really a big issue at all but the initial acquisition is probably my least favorite plant to try to get There's so few, there's only like three patches or so in this whole area. Oh, I know you meant Puddle Slime. But I don't need them that urgently. Please. Oh, it does add coins to you, it just takes a little bit. It's not that important. Uh, I'll try. Oh yeah, I started Breath of the Wild. I uh I realized it has breakable weapons, but I did not think- Oh yes! Just barely. I didn't realize it had, like, break every single encounter weapons. I, I think it, it gets better, I've heard. But... It, it is... A surprise in an unpleasant way, at least to start with. Open, open, please. Oh no. Okay, the box does not go through you. Wait a minute. What? I can't go here yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't know you could s slip around that way, but yeah, you can't. That's a ranch expansion I don't have access to yet that I just... Though I... I think there's just treasure over this way. I don't have a treasure popper. I think you have to mine. Yeah, you have to mine. You have to unlock... Excuse me, the... You have to unlock the lab and mine out a certain amount of materials to unlock each uh, layer of the, uh, the treasure cracker. The first one you get almost immediately. And the last ones take some time. I have a slime key, so I'm, I'm gonna open the moss blanket while well, I'm thinking about it. I think I have a fast travel to that, too. I'll have a fast travel to just in front of it, anyway. Mr. Rosen, did you play um, Slime Rancher before, or did you just get it right when... Did you just buy the first release today? I know you've been excited for it, but I wasn't sure if you'd played it before or not. I know a lot of people wait for, you know, the real release, and I usually do too. I was just really interested in this one, and I happened to get a review key. I got 
myself addicted before it was fully released. Uh, rock slime. Put you in there. Uh, rad slimes. Oh, a particularly nice slime, by the way. Uh, you were asking about this, Mr. Rosen. Um, an actually very good slime is rad honey slimes. Um, they're extremely docile, and aside from the radiation, um, they don't really have any major downsides. And the radiation is very easy to manage in this game. It's not really a problem at all. Um, so I would recommend those. I think I'm going to fill this with farms, actually. The problem with having farms out here is I forget to come here. I can see how they put, put that, they make that tree, that grass happen. That's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. I did play it before, but not since the slime science. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you missed a lot. Though that's one of the most fun times to play it, too. After a bunch of big updates. Some stuff. Oh, it probably rotted away, but what happened? Over there. Pretty good progress for one day. I knew where a lot of stuff was, of course, so that's not a huge surprise, but... I should be able to have bought most of the uh, vac pack upgrades by the end of today. Which I'm probably going to stop streaming here in just a bit. Three hours is usually my limit for non-weekend days, or heck, even my weekend days. That's that's a lot of stream. If I stream tomorrow, I'm not sure if it would be Slime Rancher or Breath of the Wild. I'd probably just stream whatever I happen to be playing. But uh, watch this space for that, I guess. I was hoping to have a bit more. I guess I haven't been feeding these guys as much as I have with the food production in the place that I usually do. Uh, let's get rat honeys before. Which sounds. That's, that would be a good dating app name. Rad honeys. Oh, and we can buy this thing now, too. Um. Do I need anything before I head to Moss Blanket? Honey Slime. There's gonna be... Honey Slime. What's their favorite thing? It's Mint Mango, but they eat fruits. I don't think I can get enough fruit for the... There's a Honey Gordo. I don't think I would be able to satisfy it, though. These are very quiet sneezes for me, by the way. I usually sneeze abhorrently. Oh wait, is there anything over here? I think there's a treasure card. Or something. Bro, what happened over here? Stuff just fell into the the, the abyss. I'm not gonna be able to get enough fruit for the uh, honey gourd up. That's fine. All right, I didn't take the shortcut. It's not that. It's not that short of a cut, but we'll deal with it. Get out of here, chicken. I'm starting to get sniffly. It's weird. I wasn't out in. The pollen too much today or anything. I don't know why you get allergy issues. Certain trees just never seem to have the fruit. I honestly forgot there was even one here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the 
boss blanket is this way, which is kind of the jungle area. get the physics for when, whether those things break or not. I also don't get how these keys work. They, they look like a normal key, but then like split to some weird top-shaped thing. So yeah, in here we immediately get some puddle slimes, which I I guess I'll take these fruits. Um, just one puddle slime! I'm cursed! There's also some boom slimes along the way, which are not a big deal. We already have boom slimes. Plus, they're one of my least favorite slimes. Probably my second least favorite. After the tangle slimes. Oh, some words. Moss Blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact is that much you see here wasn't even around when I began exploring this land. At this rate, I reckon there won't be long before this greener completely overtakes the far, far range. Yeah, mint mango is a disgusting sounding fruit. But, uh, they're slime, so what do they know about taste? There's some mint mango trees around here. Oh, the gordo I'm talking about? I think it's down this way. Oh! Honey slimes. Honey slimes look frickin' delicious, by the way. I think that's a myth. Oh, I know it's not. Since I already have all of those rad slimes, I only really need one honey slime to uh, impregnate or whatever the other ones. Yeah, this one's a tricky one. He's up here. See, I, I won't be able to pop him. But this guy, I'm 80% sure there's a slime key in here. I really like how there's, there's not really any invisible walls. I think there's a couple in like very specific places. But generally you can just explore any of the terrain and there's no, the, the jetpack gives you a lot of freedom. I mean, there's no real reason for the game to not give you that freedom either. It's just all, everything's surrounded by water anyway, so. You can't really break out of the level or anything. The hunter slimes are that way, by the way. I'm actually gonna go the other way though, for now. Because I need to bring these slimes back, and I might be able to get those mint mangoes. I don't think there's mint mangoes that way, which is the problem. Mint mangoes are the favorite of the honey slimes, which will make things a lot easier. Then I'll finally have a favorite food of a very productive slime. I always get lost in here, because they made, they completely rearranged this area since I originally played it. But yeah, this is the first area where you can find mint mangoes. They haven't grown yet. Great. I don't know what kind of weirdo timers the fruits grow on. Because the chickens are always there. But the the fruits are not. I never liked that. It's... Oh, by the way, you can... You can temporarily cool down the rad slimes and the boom slimes to prevent their damaging stuff with a little shot of water. So those are the tiny little mint mangoes. I can't harvest them. <laughs> it just sounded like they took a big old chunk out of you. Oh, little... Easy to miss little side passage here. They added this, and it was sneaky deaky. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. Land is all broken and twisted. There's plenty of feral slimes. About you won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. Yeah, this is where there's a bunch of, uh... 
Hunter Largos. I don't actually need to go there right now, though. It's funny that he says you should have the jetpack, because once you make it over there, you can't get back without the jetpack. So you're just kind of doomed if you, in fact, do not have it. This is a great place to get lots of puddle slimes, because there's plenty of them in this area here. By plenty, I mean there's usually at least three or four, which is one set's worth, one pond's worth. Or maybe they're rarer than I thought. I just keep getting the unlucky spawns, I think. Huh. There used to be an under construction sign here. I guess they just abandoned plans to put stuff there. Yeah, there's like something that looked like a ruins over here that had an under construction sign in the uh, early access and I guess they just gave up on it. Okay, so this sucks. I don't have the mint mangoes, which is half of what I came here for. Please grow. Unfortunately, I can't speed up time while you're like out here. A few hits of water will destroy a uh, tar, by the way. Oh, please. I really, this is probably my least favorite mechanic in the game. The, the, the pain that getting a new fruit is. I think I just have to come here tomorrow. Since that was a bust, Be there mint mangoes over over yonder? Seems safe. Let me see if I can bag a uh, hunter slime. Since I can't. Oh hey, more puddle slimes at least. Oh no, please. Oh. This is one of those areas that's just there's too many kinds of slime. So you end up getting lots of tar. Alright, one, two, three. Oh, that one just... These poor slimes that just jump to their doom for no particular reason. I see a hunter! No, hunter, please! Oh. Freaking, I just narrowly saved that guy from uh, these jerk hole tars. What was the tar doing in the water anyway? It kills them. Yeah, there's only uh, there's only ever a few hunters around here, and they're usually on the mushroom tops. They're very hard to find. The hunters turn invisible. So I'm lucky I even found that one, and it was almost it was almost tar. <gasps> no, friends. Okay. Weird. Why are they? Why do we keep finding them in the water? Is that another one? No, it's a tabby. They intermingle with the tabbies, so they're a bit harder to find. Because you might think they're just tabbies and you just saw them wrong or something. But nope, they're different things. That's probably all the more hunters I'm gonna find. occurs to me, I could make hunter rad slimes, but since I don't have the favorite food, it doesn't really matter. Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? It makes you feel all achy inside, like a day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realigns your thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't. It changes you entirely. Can't recommend it enough. Are you sure that's not like some kind of brain disease? I wonder if we dawdled long enough. Oh, neat! Volumetric clouds. I don't really watch 
watch the clouds. Are those new? I think those are new. Are you enjoying Legend of Mana? Love that game. Glad you're liking it. Some people get all grumpy because it's not... It's not Secret of Mana. They're like, mer, mer, mer. I wanted thing that was in Secret of Mana. And you already had Secret of Mana. Legend of Mana is its own thing. It's a little bit... It's very high on the, the missables slash anxiety axis, which I don't like. But everything else, I think it's really great. The great characters, um, great story presentation, great world. Uh, I really enjoy the gameplay. <gasps> yes! Give. All of that for two. Oh, okay. Couple more. Okay, chat, what do you think? Honey... Honey rads? Or... Rad hunters? Or... I guess they'd have to be honey... Honey hunters. I'll probably go honey rad. That's what I usually do. I'll find something else to to merge with the hunter. Uh, let me see. Let me look at my list. I can mix Phosphor with Hunter. I'll mix Phosphor with Hunter. Let's see. You might think this is too crowded, but like I was saying before... <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Don't eat that! Oh, no! Oh! Damn it. That was bad. I shot my last one before I could plant it. Crap, I'll have to go farming again. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh no, baby, what is you doing? Use a box air net. Okay. Four collector. Um. Right. Honey Hunter would suck because the prey would see the pig on the rats. They're all going to be vegetarian regardless, so it's not much to Unfortunately, I think four is too many. I think they get Bakna, Desu, yeah. So this one, I don't know what to do with you. I don't, I don't know if you'll live. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I can't get the docks! I want the docks! Wasted that last thing. I'm so. Oops. Honey rads are just super chill and easy to deal with. They're probably the least disruptive Largos I've I've seen in the game. Every single person said honey rat. Um, hmm. Hunter. I need phosphor slimes. Alright. Um Mosaic eat. Um... <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm the luckiest person in the world. I can't believe I somehow shot that there. usually do is I have big farms here and I have storages here but I was thinking for this one I might just have all my slimes in one place and then all my storage and stuff in another how much, how much does this cost the lab oh dang okay <laughs> no lab for us
Gardens aren't that expensive. I'm just gonna throw the mint mango now so we don't forget. Uh, we need... Oh, crap. I can't sleep until night type time, unfortunately. Like I can see the little painting utensil. They used to paint the big ol' uh, slime on there. Yeah, being sick sucks. It's... For me, anything where I can't do anything of productive, and I include video games in being productive, um, that sucks. I was once in bed for like two weeks for shingles in, in, in high school. I think, I think you can get vaccination. Oh, what's weird is I had chicken pox as a kid. I somehow got shingles. I think, well, I think you have to have had chicken pox and shingles is like a resurgence. I think you can, I think you can get vaccinations for shingles now. Uh, you might have been able to at the time, but if you can get get shingles vaccinations, it's absolutely horrible. Uh, I was down for two weeks, just could not do anything. Absolutely horrible. I was in high school. I actually left debate club because the uh, the guy the uh, the head of debate club the the what would you even call it. The teacher in charge of debate club was being a complete prick about it. He was a complete prick in general, but usually he was like a manageable, like not lovable, but like, you know, tolerable prick. But this time, just a complete asshole, and I just, you know. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, how does it have a vaccine? Like, I should look up how that works, because I don't even. How you'd have. Like, vaccines usually get you used to a virus in the first place, and chickenpox, by having the virus, you would think you'd be immune to a resurgence, but I don't know. I don't know how that exactly works. So, this place is actually, if you just want to have feral slime, or, uh, what are they called? Um, hunter slimes? This is a great place to have boom hunters. Um, oh, hey, I need fruits. I almost forgot. This is a great place to just rise, uh, raise free range boom hunters. Because there'll, there'll be lots of chickens and they'll never get feral because they always have chickens to eat. And uh, they won't leave the confines of here. And so you don't have to worry about them blowing up and like knocking pork plorts out of the place. Just don't have any other slimes in here. It's okay to have puddle or fire slimes because they aren't affected by plorts. But um, but yeah, just boom hunters. Just that's what I have in my main file or my old save file is a bunch of boom hunters in here. Oh wait. Um, auto feeder. Oh, I do have a board thing. So the annoying thing is I need to wait for the phosphor slimes. I never grabbed any, and even the phosphor plorts disappear in the uh, daylight. But you can farm them as long as you have the solar shield shield on your. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. I need to gather fruit for that Largo. Oh, come on. I just want to do one more productive thing. And then I'll head off. And it's like, I want to sleep so I can grow more stuff but if I sleep I can't I'll have to wait even longer because you always wake up at 6 a.m. Uh, so if I sleep there goes any opportunity to uh, to get the phosphor jerk <gasps> wait wait now I'm using my noggin if there's a phosphor slime down in the cave here or there's a phosphor gordo if I grow my Q berries and then pop him I'll get phosphor things, even in the daytime. I also have to suck them up quick. 
I think they're in a cave, so they'll survive. I don't know if that works. Yeah, I got scars from shingles. I got, um... I got just one patch on my on my face that I actually had surgery to fix and I didn't really do a great job. It just turned an ugly scar into a more standard scar. But, uh, oh well. Felt like it's my first scar. It was... Honestly, that was my least favorite part. Even after I got, even after the shingles went away, I had these ugly, like, they look like bundles of, like, the chicken pox sores. And one bunch of them went away, but there was, er, most of it went away, but there was some scarring on my, uh, I don't remember what side it's on anymore. Uh, but, uh, right on one of my lips, it was in a very annoying place to have something like that. Also means I can never have a mustache, because there would always be a patch there. Why is that, by the way? Whenever you regrow skin, it never grows hair anymore. What's the deal with that? Because, yeah, I got, um... I've got that same eyebrow scar that Ellie from The Last of Us has. Um, that hair just never grows back. There should be enough Q-berries. I really want more mint mangoes because of the, uh, these dudes. It's gonna be night by the time I pop that Gordo anyway, but oh well. Yeah, shingles really sucks. Get, get your, get all of your vaccinations, unless it's like, yeah, gonna cost 18 billion dollars, but get your flu shot, get your whatever. It can literally save your life, or it can at least save you, at, at the very least, some significant discomfort and inconvenience. Hello, friend. Yeah, it's 25 of their favorite fruit. That's why I was thinking 25. Okay, I'll just breed these with the Largo. Yep, there's another slime key for you. Treasure cracker, cracker things I can't open. But I guess treasure crackers are supposed to be pretty late game because you, uh, the lab is the 10,000 G, which I was balking at the, uh, or do not wait. This key that you get, do not waste it on this door. That is a garbage door full of lies because you can just get back out here. This door leads to that other door that I told you was a pointless shortcut. That's probably the worst slime door in the game to open. Which is such a shame because it's so easy to do on accident. It's probably the second or third slime door I opened. Oh right, I need the fruit for the uh... Okay. You wasted that key on that door? Yeah, I think most people do. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I did too. It's like, you're not gonna know until you open it, right? But, yeah, I think if you, if you pop that Honey Largo, if you haven't done that one, if I, I'll probably, I'll probably pop that by the end of the stream. I'll probably try to end, that'll probably be the last thing I do on the stream, is pop that, but I'm pretty sure that is, in fact, the key Largo. That's because the body only produces a set amount of hair. But I mean, if you shave hair, it just keeps regrowing. But if you get, if the skin gets damaged, the, I guess the hair follicle doesn't come back for whatever reason. Tank booster. Tank booster is very good. I 
think I can sleep on the other ones for now. Okay, let's get these guys going. I actually kind of wanted more Phosphor Slimes than even that, but I can get... They'll be easy to find Phosphor Slimes because it'll be night now. I'm not sure how many have fed it before, but we should be very close. Scar tissue doesn't grow hair. So scar tissue, I guess, I guess it is different from normal skin. I never considered it being just different in that way. Right, we're gonna grab some phosphors, which should be popping up any second now. turn blue any second now. Any second now. Um, hmm. Whatever. Phosphor. Ah! Did you see him noom right over? He was nooming right up to that that green. What the? Or that pink. Okay, colors. Yeah, phosphor slimes show up pretty much everywhere. I forgot the shortcut again. Great eyebrows. Oh, no, don't grow. Oh, why are there so few? Does her body push out her brand new piercing out? Ugh. I don't have much desire to get a piercing, but if I did, I would. There's so many weird issues they can have. I, I don't want to have to deal with crap like that. I want my body to be as low maintenance as possible. I kind of like my eyebrow scar. It's very distinctive. My other... My lip scar just kind of fades in. It's not too big of a deal. It's definitely better than it was, but I was pretty... unimpressed by their alleged fixing of it. I've got plenty of fruit. Even if I hadn't fed it before, I think I would have enough. Second just made Sonic Four completely non-canon. Did they? I mean, nothing really happened. I mean, does Sonic really have a canon? I mean, even in Sonic Adventure Two, do they particularly mention stuff that happened in Sonic One? Yeah, Sonic Four was a dumb idea. Sonic, ma even when Sonic Four came out, I just I was just like, why don't they just make a new game with pixel art and, you know, the same kind of design stuff? It appears to be quite like. Alright, I actually need. Wait, no, I don't. Oh, yep, there's the slime key, so there you go. Whoa, do they always make that sound? If you need another slime key, there's one right there. I guess Generations, if you want to consider it a canon thing, kind of includes a bunch of different crap. But yeah, it was always kind of like Mario, where it's just like, you know, things just happen. And whether there is canon or not, it doesn't seem like it would actually matter at all. Other than how is Bowser, like, still alive. I mean, Bowser has been actually, like, dissolved in lava at least once. Like, shown to be, like, actual bones at least once. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. That was actually kind of disturbing in New Super Mario Bros. 1. Like, sheesh. Sonic Mania trailer shows an elevator scene. Yeah, I saw, I saw that thing. I thought it was a cute nod, but I'm not sure if I would consider that, you know, indications of canon, canonosity, whatever you would call that. This is some very clear water. I 
think pink slimes make the ugliest Largos, frankly. They're, they're cute on their own, but I don't like their Largos for the most part. Can't chat without refreshing every other time. Yeah, Twitch's chat kind of sucks. It's just kind of expected at this point. The annoying thing about hunters is they will turn... The hunter Largos turn feral. It doesn't really matter all that much, but it just means they're even more agitated than usual. Uh, unfed slimes. This is probably too many of these, of these buggerinos. But, oh. The shader on these guys is freaking delicious, though. Look at that. You would... You would eat that. Trust me. I would eat that. I don't even... Well, honey has its uses. But I'm not a huge honey fan. Explode in my face. Boom slimes are extremely rude. Tangle slimes are still worse though, because tang tangle slimes? Say you have like a tangle explosion um, largo. Or tangle tangle boom largo. And everything, like you never put any other food in its thing. You never put any plorts. But somehow, you know, a, a, a crystal plort gets, you know, blown out of another cage and lands next to the cage. The tangle slime will reach out of the cage through the ground, eat the plort, and become a tar. And all of its friends dead within like 30 seconds. It's. It sucks. All he needs is a giant cup of tea. Honey and tea, I like. Honey. Honey and tea is a very good, um, it's a very good, like, throat fixer-upper dealerino. I think the rock sign just see something blue and that's gonna taste good. True! I do love, I have, I love anything blue that's, like, blue candies. I guess it's because blue is such a rare color for actual food. Your brain, I don't know, just doesn't know what to think. Blue M&Ms, objectively better than the other M&Ms. Did you know there used to be beige M&Ms? I saw pictures and I was like, what the hell? Like, they look so unappealing. Let me find some pictures of these. Um, they look like they forgot to put on the shell, even though M&Ms aren't, like, beige on the inside. No, those aren't the ones. Tan m so it's like, those are just yellows. What is this? No, these are, there were some really old M&Ms. Maybe they were tan? Tan M&Ms. Do you remember tan M&Ms? Maybe these are not as ugly as I thought. And th those are just like brown and yellows. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's hard to see them, but... It, it actually, no, it does look like they forgot to put the shell on them, because they're lighter than the, uh, than the brown ones. I don't know how you could eat those old M&Ms. They just look so gross. They don't look right. They look like bad Skittles. They look like unappealing Skittles without the blue ones. They, they, it feels inappropriate somehow. How did they end up with brown and tan? I always thought the brown ones are boring because I mean, they're candy. Or I mean, they're, they're already chocolate. You don't need brown shells. They look like sun bleached red ones. Yes, they do. They look, they look they look diseased, honestly. 
Yeah, they took away the blue ones. They thought, I think they thought people wouldn't like the blue ones because nothing natural is blue, but that's why the blue ones are extra good. Now, speaking of Skittles, how dare they, how dare they make the freaking the lime the best Skittle? They turned it into the apple skill, which is the worst. Even if you like, I, I normally am de like I like apples. Green apple, not my favorite. But the problem with green apple Skittles is they completely overpower everything else. If you take, the, the beauty of Skittles used to be that you could just take a bunch of Skittles, eat them all at once, and you would get something that tasted pretty good and nothing really overpowered anything too much. The grape ones could be a little strong. The grape ones used to be my least, least favorite. But if you grab a mouthful now, all you'll taste is that green apple, and it tastes awful with anything else. European M&Ms look different too. Maybe. Oh yeah, then they made Sassy Black Woman um, brown M&M. Which is a very horny direction to go in. But, uh, you know, follow your dreams. Do you think there's people out there with, like, M&M's OCs? Like, this is, you know, this is Tope Eminem. And he's got, you know, the powers of, you know, he's a Super Saiyan. And his dad is Goku. And his mom is Vegeta. I just showed a picture of our Eminems are, oh. Um, uh, no, that's... What is this? There's tan ones with blue ones. When did that happen? This is what M&Ms truly look like. You sort out the brown ones. I actually don't do that, but I always find the more vibrant ones a lot more fun. The brown ones are just like, yeah, it's it's a chocolate tap. Stop, please. You don't like you don't like M&M like OC talk. I just look to finish the same. But yeah, the... Don't stare into the OC of this test. It stares back. I like how your names, if you don't explicitly pick a name, your name's color is different on the on-screen display than it is in the chat, like actual chat window, and it confuses me. This is my tiny brain. Yeah, auto feeder, like I said, I don't find any value to that because what you can just do is you just spray all the food into the pen and they'll just eventually eat it over time. You have peanut ones which are fat. Yeah, we get the peanut. There's a lot of varieties of M&Ms. We got, there's ones with pretzels in the middle. There's one with rice, like crunch, crispy things in them. Um, these are actually pretty good. Um, yeah, there's the peanut ones. And there's Reese's Pieces, which are basically M&M's, but is that a different company or not? I mean, most food companies actually have the same parent thing anyway, so it's probably the same parent at some level. But like, Reese's Pieces like exactly M&M's, but just filled with peanut butter. I'm okay with the peanut butter, or the- <gasps> I can afford the thing! Okay, one last bit of productivity. We have to see the docks. Heck yes. Oh, there's a ducky! With soulless eyes! Oh goodness, no! Oh no! Oh please. Oh no. I have to leave now. <laughs> Why is this so creepy? It's like a Funko Pop! I'm actually leaving to get the uh, these guys. But, 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 but why is it Satan? Peanut butter Kit Kat? We probably get those. I I don't usually look too much at fancier snack stuff like the... I usually have to go to the actual candy aisle to get that. Why? Why is it Satan? Look at... Oh no. Oh, this is even worse. You have to get... You gotta get little glints in the eyes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh no, 
Oh, it, it. You gotta make sure there's always a glint in there. When there's glints, it's 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 holy and pure. But when it's darkness, it's all oh God. It's the Satan duck. They like it though, so it's it's okay. Oh yeah, and what was it talking about about them sticking? They stick in the nets? They do! <laughs> That's awesome! So you can make like art, you can make pixel art with the um with the slimes. That that is actually really cool. Oh, this is actually a really cool place. I had no idea they added this. Oh, it's so cool. There's a little waterfall too. Reese's Hershey's and Eminem it's Mars. Really? Mars? I always forget Mars is a brand, because we don't get... I think... Like, what's a Mars bar? Is that... That's a Milky Way. A Milky Way here is a Mars bar in Europe or something. But they're actually still different, because, like, one of them is missing the nougat or something. Or one of them is missing the... I don't know. Something's different. I like Milky Way, though. I have a Kinder Egg. Oh, yeah, we used to get Kinder Eggs as, as kids all the time. And then they made them freaking illegal to import. It's one of the biggest examples of idiotic, you know, governmental helico helicopter parenting. A view of the sea really reminds you of our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was our first great unknown. Then space. Then whatever's beyond all that. <laughs> whatever's beyond, you know, space. That need to see what's beyond around the next corner is in my bones. Once you're out here, I reckon it's in yours too. Though, I suppose you could... You could also be out here because you like the fresh air. Because you like the untamed beauty of this land. Maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure. Sure is the way to do it. It doesn't get much farther than this. Demon duck emoji. Nah. All puddle slimes are my children. I convulsively pick them up. I like puddle slimes, but you can't have too many in a thing. I wonder if they'd be less shy in this thing since it's natural and larger. I really like this area though. I should make this like my uh, um, clouds look really nice. Um, I should make that my like garden or something. It's a bit off the beaten path, but uh, I like that. But here's the thing about honey booms. Um, they're just so chill. They they do not even move. I was about to say they barely move, but I mean, th this is about the extent of their movement. They kind of jiggle a bit. They they just they they don't cause problems. I like them. They're very good in the It's a Gatorade like. If you've ever had Powerade, it's like the same thing, pretty much. It's like... Somewhat sweet water. I really like the, the Gatorade Lime, or at least I used to. I had it... I don't know if they changed it since I was a kid, or... It's just... I don't like it as much anymore, but uh... Or no, it was the blue stuff I really liked. Like anything blue. But it was kind of underwhelming last time I tried it. Unless you're working out, it's basically sugar water, so it's not particularly great to drink. But uh, all right, can't get this yet. So there's two ranch expansions we have left. Then uh, not too many backpack upgrades. Ranch exchange offline. Oh, I think it changes at noon every time. Power Raid is largely the same, I think. Why are there only five of you? There used to be so many. I don't really need... I could probably... Just kind of... Just kind of yeah. Find something a bit more useful to put in that cage. But, uh... For now... Oh, 
night. I think I said I was gonna stop streaming about an hour ago. Um, CSEM Rewards Club. I bet this is... The Death Hike. Hey B, do you remember when you took me hiking? I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing, and your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes, and you were decked out in a pack and gear. It was a nightmare for me, haha. I think it was around the five mile mark when I realized, uh, when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse, that I realized your ideas of fun were two very different things. Also, you really weren't even out of breath even then. I still totally hate you for that. Smiley face. That's how you have to read those. B7 Rewards Club. Oh, you can get a weather vane. I'm still so excited for, for having the human model. I really like her model. She's got like one of those neck pillows. Just at all times. Imagine the comfort. I know it's supposed to be like the fancy collar, but it just looks like she has a nice pillow. One of those like weird bed neck pillow things. And she has a giant Game Boy. Can I rotate? No. Flavored salty. Oh yeah, there's. It's just it's salty too, cause you know electrolytes. What plants crave. There's, there's, there's a bug in my drink. Why why do bugs drown themselves in drinks? Like, why? I mean, I, they, they want the sugariness, I guess. But, but, you're doomed. Whatever. Yeah, I really love her design. I Did they ever tease her design before? I, they just post, I just saw her posted on, um, Monami Park posted her on Twitter. I was like, oh, we have real design model. Well, bugs are dumb. They also have no noci receptors, or... I think they have no central nerve... Do they have no central nervous system at all? Yeah, bugs are dumb, and they can't really feel pain. But Still no reason to burn ants or anything. I d does anybody... Is that, like, a real thing people do? Like, I mean, I'm sure it is to some degree. But, like, you always hear in, like... You know, fiction stuff, people burning ants. Like, how could people do that? There was concept art. Was there? My Nintendo has a Kirby wallpaper. Do you have to pay for the Kirby wallpaper? Oh, yeah, it's the Kirby anniversary sale thing. Wait, while I'm thinking, let me see how this stream looks. Quality. So, I'm just going to watch my own stream, which is going to be difficult. I just want to see how this bitrate looks. Of course, there's a delay. So the viewing a static image obviously isn't the best way to uh, measure bitrate. Stream a very good picture. Okay, yeah, that's about that's about what I feared it looked like. I mean, you can see, you can tell what's going on. Oh. Maybe it's a little worse than I thought actually. Oh, never mind. we're just dropping frames. That was not actually the good bit rate. That's, yeah, my, my internet is crapping out a, a secondary tier. Wow. Probably it is my Nintendo. Maybe buy Kirby too, so that, oh yeah, the, I think, don't think I finished my thought. There's a Kirby eShop sale going on and um, it's only for, well, there's no virtual console on Switch, which is infuriating. Because, like, I was playing Harvest Moon on Wii U, and it's like, I don't want to play my Wii U just for that. And it's like, if they had a good system, I could just turn on my Switch, download the game that I already paid for. For the, uh, for the third time, by the way. Because I bought it on SNES, I got it on Wii, and then I upgraded on Wii U. But I still can't play it on Switch. It's, it's dumb and maddening. I haven't- I don't think I've even logged into my Nintendo. Let's see how bad it is. More like not my Nintendo. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, I gotta sign in. Email address. What? Oh no, I don't know what the thing is. I think I just signed in with Nintendo Network ID. There's so many different IDs you can have on Nintendo stuff. It's 
It's ridiculous. Ah. My awful belt. I have 201 silver coins and 20 gold coins. And I think they expire too. They expire after like six months or something. It's a complete joke. Oh, I saw the Star Fox 2 ad. They had a Star Fox 2 ad and I briefly thought for a moment that like, oh, I can play that on Switch, right? But no, it's the SNES Classic Edition, which is literally impossible to buy in the United States. Is this... Uh, are these canon over on the right here? Are my OCs finally canon on the right? The freaking, you know, Fenix Foxkin and Dog Rabbit Supreme? Okay, bitrate's going to trash and we're just talking about OCs again. So I think it's... I'm getting 600 kilobytes per second. Amazing. They were in Star Fox 2 before it was cancelled. But, like, are they actually in the game? Because the game is coming out, finally. Sort of. In theory, if you can actually get an SNES classic. Oh, Poodle. That, that reminds me of the, um, the dog in... Crap, what's her name? Dog Freedom Planet. I always thought that was a rabbit. Because those are, those are rabbit ears, I'm sorry. Oh, Google Images, no! I regret everything. What? You can't Google anything. It's everything is everything is horrible. Nothing is safe to Google, especially not Pokemon. Anyway, oh no, Google. Yes, you can get. It wasn't outright porn, but it was like. It was one of the first page things too. It was, I didn't even go to the Google Images thing, and they're usually pretty good about not showing porn. But it was it was cropped. But I mean, you could tell. It was one of those images where you can tell what is below the crop, and it is, it is not pleasant. Anyway, why do people gotta be like that? Do I have any ports to sell? I need to buy some brain bleach. I'm not sure 142 ends is enough to buy brain bleach. Oh well. Oh well, um... I can't believe this internet crap is, is, is... Even streaming at, I'm, I'm streaming at one megabit up. And I'm getting issues. And I, I might get a new router, but it, I'm really not convinced that the, it's the router. Because I mean, what about a router could possibly... What about a router could possibly crap out specifically at 8 p.m. every day? That just seems... No. Like, with extreme regularity, too. Whatever. I think these are... You know what? I don't really need these. Trade soil. Max crop always use maximum harvest. Oh, right. I should probably... I don't know where I want my farm to be. I'll just... I'll just put this right here for now. Stream a wireless connection, right? No, I'm. No, I'm directly to my router. Actually, I had a switch in between, and I removed that. And I'm Cat Six cable all the way. Um. So I've I've checked basically everything. It's and it's not my it's not the network card or anything either because I tried over. Uh, I tried streaming with no. You're proving me a liar and escaping. I, I have... I probably do have a few too many of these. I have like 30 or 40 of those in there. Um, what was I saying? I, I, I tried uh, st just a stream test with my Surface. Um, just to see if I have the exact same issue at the exact same time. And yeah, I do. But yeah, it, it's just... Every day at 8, and it seems to get worse at 9. I can't imagine I have any neighbors that, like, upload massive data. Like, I don't think I have any other streamer neighbors. And even if I do, they shouldn't be using... I, like... I usually get, like, 200... 
right? Not 200. I get 25 up. I can't imagine anybody is hogging my 25 up at all times immediately at 8 o'clock. I don't, I don't know. I'll just have to keep talking to the media com as they pretend there's no problem. Yeah, I, I've been complaining for like, this has been an issue for like months, but oh well. What size would you like? I'll, I'll talk with them in, in Discord. But yeah, oh, that, that reminds me. Oh, oops. Well, I'm not too happy about you being such a prick. I already kind of want to play that game again. What a, what a beautiful game. What a beautiful Mega Man. Amazing. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Um... I might stream either this or Breath of the Wild tomorrow at 6 again. Um, not 100% sure. I'm happy they get so much use, but also sad they get so much use. I appreciate that it exists, but I wish I didn't have to use it. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. See you later.